Good morning, guys. Oh, it's exciting days. Family, it's been charmed. Hunter, Hunter, Mrs. Hickey Hawks and her involvement in Hyperverse. Oh. Doing a bit of a catch up on last night's live. Yes, we snuck out a live meeting last night. Uh, so if you want to know all about the cut, about that, I do encourage you to go and look at the last live we did. There's a few Avengers on there. In fact, we got up to over 30 people in the chat room, which is absolutely have to go to time window. Um, we go to set this famous disclaimer where I can say wherever I like, not be held accountable. That's what they're all about. Good morning. I'm Danny De Heck, aka the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger, here to name and shame anyone running or promoting a Ponzi scheme or a scam. Right, so lots, lots and lots and lots of happen. Every time we do these lives, something else happens that it just keeps getting better and better. If you're tuned in for the first time, thank you for being here. Hope you subscribe to the channel and come back for more goodies along the way. I am just downloading a video which I'm going to play today. It was absolutely incredible. Now, I've only got a short time. I've got to take a load of rubbish to the dump, and uh, that's at 7.30. It currently is 22 minutes past uh six in the morning i'm in new zealand i live in the future i can tell you what's going to happen before it actually happens we had a fantastic meeting last night i hope you can hear me well i hope the sound is actually coming through the microphone we've got two comments in there already p music woohoo yes yeah, sam is being charged uh hopefully it'll be interesting one thing that i'm still trying to fathom is that seems to be a maximum penalty of five years that somebody can get if 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 um, I wouldn't be surprised if Brenda Chunga has um, been an informant. Well, I know she's been helping people out um, with information, so I wouldn't be surprised if she just gets charged but never gets any jail time. Who knows? But anyway, as the future comes, we will find um, out what actually happens. We know Bitcoin Rodney has also been charged. So there's three people involved. Now, why I so desperately wanted to do a live this morning and make sure because I reckon – the we are all satoshi people must be absolutely pissing themselves in their pants at the moment <laughs> wouldn't you agree uh and also we've got a, a bit of a hard case thing to have a look at so um before we get going i just thought we'd get straight into some good stuff um i've just got another tab open here and i'm just trying to get myself organized because i hit play before i was I was ready. <laughs> um, but what we've got, let's go. I wish I could play your music. I'm going to download your uh, sound file. Let's go, Richard, because uh, we started this last night's meeting off, well, my last night's meeting, probably your morning's meeting off with some um, voice clips that we've been getting along the way. Now, because of this stuff with Sam Lee being, I just the significance of Sam Lee being charged in America, even though he's now in Dubai, is there's also an act of, uh, they're investigating them here in, well, I say here, but in down under in Australia. And this means that it is more than likely that they will actually press um, the same charges against him from Australia. And that means that he could be expedited from Australia, sorry, from Dubai back to Australia. And that's that's the re renaissance. I never get that word really right. I don't know why I keep using it. But that means that... Uh, America and Dubai do not have an expedite um, agreement, but Australia and Dubai does. So this means that they could grab him by his little wee hand and walk him all the way back to Australia. And imagine <laughs> imagine this, if he gets back to Australia and then Australians go, well, hey, do you want him? <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen, but we're just speculating. Very exciting times. And uh, and that's what we have now uh, to go with. Now, there's something that happened funny yesterday, and I was so wound up in something else. I missed this meeting that was going on, and I've just downloaded the meeting. So I'm just going to literally link that into the presentation video file. Won't be a second. You'll have to bear with me, the caller. Take a number. Oh, let's see what we've got. We've got movies, W, and... Mike Lucas. Oh, brilliant. Now we can bring this meeting into the meeting. Uh, that, that's the one I want, but we're not quite there yet. Um, so there was a meeting yesterday with these two numpies called uh, Mike and Mike, and they claimed they come out of retirement. It was the most – I didn't realize 
even though we had it in yesterday, uh, yesterday's morning's meeting, I didn't realise that these guys were a in retirement, and I didn't realise that Shavas had actually made an appearance. But our trusty guy, Bob Charles, uh, not Bob Charles, Tugman, whatever you want to call him, literally um, recorded the meeting and did just a bloody good job. But I, I was just watching the start of the meeting just before, and I just couldn't believe it. But the one, the thing that I really want to do is a couple of things I want to do. I just want to organise the meeting so I, people can join me. Now, because I'm only here for a short time today, uh, this meeting can continue if people are brave enough to run it without me. I would be running it off my phone, which is a bit weird, I know. But I want to just get this organised with the link to the meeting so that if that happens, I've got people who can get on stage, not right now, but near the end, and I'll keep running the meeting on the phone because sometimes these meetings get so good that I wish I could do this full time. So in saying that, call in to the show and chat to the, I'm going to actually make this a bit different today, uh, the Avengers. So why I'm saying that, put that there, put that there. We had 30 people in the chat room last night. That's our world record, over 30 at one stage. Call into the show. So that's, that's how you get into this show. And then what I want to do is I want to make sure I can pin that to the top. And then I also want to uh, put the link in the current chat. So there you go. That's all that done over there. So if you're listening to this on the other eight platforms that we're streaming on, um, find your way to our YouTube channel and by all means uh, join in. Right. So I'm going to do presents. I'm going to do screen share. I'm going to bring up uh, my website. Now, information you do have, please, please uh, feel free to give it to me. Submit it to my website. Uh, via the contact us page so you just find my website by going to dehick.com and that's as simple as it goes um, there's a few comments in here hello p music nice to see you here uh, again obviously richard's here and we've got some new people in the show which is really cool so i'll just when i see a message that uh, i think others can benefit from i click hide <laughs> i not hide i um, view and it turns up on the screen um promoting other Ponzi scheme, maybe you already know. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you very much for that. Now, I am four days behind on my emails, um, and today I hopefully be able to catch them up. I work two days a week. I sell watches. And for the last three days, I've actually been helping my mate empty a um, a, a plant, a bedding, what do they call it, a garden. I've been digging out dirt for three days because he said he'd give me one of these watches <laughs> if I did it. So I did it. I don't need a new watch, but I've got one now. And um, yeah, so that's the truth of it. All right. So what I want to do is actually just go to the Facebook page because what we're on to do, we want to find Sam. And if I'm trying to find Sam, I need to go to this. So let's get into this. I'll just hide that to give me some more room. Now there's a for the last, well, I forget how long, but the last two or three days in a row, he's been in this group called Vend. Now, this is, and I'm just curious whether he made it. So this is three hours ago. Oops, sorry. There you go. You can see this is three hours ago, and this lady has been promoting Sam. Uh, so if Sam's in here, I'll eat my hat. But the fact that if he's in here after being charged is actually really interesting. Wouldn't you agree? So I'm going to make this bigger. Ah, that did not make it bigger. That made it pop up on the box. Uh, is it that one? That's better. All right, now this lady that you're looking at with no sound at the moment, oh, no, she's got no sound. Is that, why is that? Um, now, I know there's no sound, but there's no sound her end either. Yeah, they're trying to signal to her. This is quite funny. All professionals who run these um, Ponzi schemes, you know, guys. <laughs> but anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot past here and see if I can find uh, Sam. Uh, in, in here, oh my okay. goodness, there he is. Thank you so much. Daily basis, and to make sure that we're all, uh, I don't want to miss one so second we of this. With the business of the day, uh, please allow me to call uh, our CEO, so this the is, chairman of the company. This is one hour ago, uh, stuff, guys. This wonderful platform has been charged uh, for conspiracy as pro, as to commit fraud owners. by the US. So, ladies and gentlemen, and we haven't seen him since this, the first time we've seen him since this article. So, some love. Uh, thank you so much. Over to you, Sam. Here we go. Thanks, Nandi. <clears throat> thank you, Nandi. Uh, and thank you, everyone. Well, here we go. Everyone. Um, again, a good thing that we're running things 
on a daily basis, being here for each other on a daily basis, and inside. to make sure that you know, we're all uh, understanding of the model so that we're able now, the interesting thing, I had the privilege of sending, because I got tipped off about the article before it even landed, and as soon as it landed, I got a link, and I sent it through to Sam. I also rang up uh, Carl, Yvonne, Kate, Je uh, Janet, and George, and told them that I will see them in, um, hopefully see them soon with the ATO. So I notified everyone I know <laughs> about Sam's article just as it dropped. So I was probably the one that sent this to Sam. So I don't even know if he who acknowledged this today. Uh, he probably thinks he's safe in Dubai, but we know otherwise. Able to grow together. So um, I just wanted to be very quick before we bring everyone else on um, to create a great outcome. And that is, you know. <clears throat> Here we go. Some more bullshit. When you're trying to achieve something big. Here we okay, go. When you're trying to achieve something big. Same shit, different day. Uh, okay. And you're achieving it in a transparent and legitimate manner. <laughs> you know. Sorry, oh, sorry, laughing, laughing. Uh, what do those people who uh, wish you to succeed do? Oh, right. You know, uh, they will, of course, uh, be there to cheer you on but more importantly ask the question what do you need this, okay this is brilliant because they know they have wants that they can get after the day but the, 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 hey yeah thank you very good internet and jail sam do you he's broken up he probably told his driver to keep driving out to the desert. I want to talk to the. <laughs> He's probably oh, digging a hole in the, very, in the desert in the moment. And when it comes to the news cycle, uh, when it, but what is said is not true. It doesn't impact me. It doesn't impact me. So, you know, to. It doesn't impact you, but let me address the nation before I get speaking about shit. To be true. Ah, sorry, guys. Is very cheap. I could take a screenshot of what me and Nandy have discussed on WhatsApp and send it to someone if I need to prove what I, you know, me and Nandy talked about is, in fact, aligned and, in fact, the truth. Right. No, I don't do that <laughs> <laughs> because uh, there is no need, right? Uh, I I don't want to be in a position. Sorry, let me turn on the light. Um, so I don't want to be in a position where I um. Have, um <clears throat> having. Gee. who i am to people who don't believe in me you know uh, let's look at the world as a global village what are you talking about sam because not There's everyone's plenty of the people. article we want to only work with the people that believe in us hey, still sam so you know what <clears throat> what uh, i've been the paradise in trouble this space for a very long oh, time. Say something we don't know, Sam. You just repeat the same. I shit. have uh, been a very private since 2018. No, you haven't. Right, <laughs> and uh, what it meant is, you know, uh, as someone who likes his privacy, he's able to be very connected. Sounds like Shabbos. Uh, various people around the world. Mm. Now, now, later. Of course. Now, don't forget to like this video. There is most. people around yeah, the world. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. We'll look at what we're doing right now, and some of them will think it's crazy. I think it's stupid. I think you're a thieving bastard. Because it is here 
where we <sighs> are able to print and print more. Let's get messages on for Richard, eh? To create and create more. Defense mode, definitely, man. And of course, success breeds <laughs> more success. As long yeah. as you are in the space. I'm thinking Comic Class Pilot, to be honest. Will be successful. You yeah, bring good. more people in to share in that success. So uh, I'm in this space. Not for long. Right. Where Scam Lee. I can shine. I own that because case. you know what? <laughs> what Sam? To listen to noise. Oh, that have their own agendas. What the American government's coming after you? And it's noise to go with their agenda. Would you like them to sneak up with a drone? Just saying. I don't That's need what? to have everybody. I just need to have people who are able to be. Honest and transparent with the market together with me. Not just share their version and not mine, but we share our vision together. Wow. So, you know, uh, we have a uh, significant number of Of people coming in. Internet, not me. That's why Zoom should be uh, banned for broadcasting people from Ponzi schemes. Bad reception. And, and uh, to what I believe is a great 2023. If you're in the mindset of saying, uh, look, um, uh, I lost a lot. You know what? I lost a lot too. In oh. 2023, I lost a lot too. Oh, right. that's right then. Uh, but let's just bring up one word VAV. In <laughs> the mindset of loss. Did you look? What'd you do with that money? Is to not embrace new gains. So it's all about let's focus on ensuring that we gain by having full transparency directly to for people who make these decisions. So let's just continue this journey because, you know, uh, today I'm actually very much in a state of mind where I understand that uh, the worst has already happened, so it can only get better from here. And uh, you know, oh, are you rock bottom then? When you realize uh, the worst is basically now, people people don't like lying it? to regulators oh. and regulators. Everyone else's fault, but yours. their version of the story. And now we need to stop him there because we've got videos of him in secret meetings saying that you never admit liability. We've got those videos right here, right now. We've got tons of videos, guys. We've collected terabytes of information about Sam. We've got it. Now, Sam claims never, ever admit liability. It's always the other person's fault is exactly his word. So this is kind of ironic that he puts bad actors in, in trouble here. Ah, oh, it's brilliant. Uh, now, why, why he's pausing with Zoom's bad connection. Don't use Zoom, guys. They don't care about promoting multi-level marketing. Making... This is off the back of that. You know what? Your big speech is getting crackly, isn't it, Sam? To and on the way to work, Sam very, doesn't, very trans oops, Sam doesn't normally talk on the way to work like this. Uh, so this is a very important announcement he's doing. Unfortunately, I'd just like to apologize that the uh, sound is crap. Now, we will actually, um, if you look, one, two, and three was one, two, and three. Boomerang. Let's just keep going. How many Ponzi schemes can you, um, you do? It's just amazing. 
Oh, somebody's asked for a pinnacle knack. Oh my god, I don't know if I've got it. Have I got a pinnacle knack in me? Pinnacle knack! <laughs> oh, diverse. Oh, we've just. This is just like victory. This is. I just. I really want to see what happens this morning. Whether we are or Satoshi decide that they will. Um, they will run a meeting, and and they'll probably say it's a good thing that Sam's been. Um, uh, charged. Um, I can't wait. It's just going to be uh, absolutely uh, excellent. I hope I've got a job after this. <laughs> but anyway, there's lots of stories and lots of talking and lots of explaining about all this stuff. I'm trying to keep up with some of the messages that's coming in the chat room. I like to display them. So welcome to our, our room. And this is Sam Lee justifying his article. How this industry will work moving forward. And if you are able to take advantage of the oh, models. Where's he gone? Hold it. And grow with this ecosystem. Grow with. Then we should get him on the screen. There he is. So don't stop. Okay. Don't Effort stop. Effort never dies. Oh, right. where's he gone? There he is. Um. All right. <sighs> Sam, stay still. And on vend. Ah. Okay. Don't stop vending new tokens into existence. We need more people to be more creative on how we can build an ecosystem together. So this is just the beginning of a week. Okay, so what you what you want to? Oh, this is it Monday? No, it's Wednesday. Yeah. Um, what you want to realise, guys, that whilst Sam's locked up in prison, if he does get uh, expedited out of Dubai by Australia, which is the, what we're hoping, um, to keep um vending worthless tokens in vend so that when he gets out in five years time because that's all they theoretically get would you believe for this sort of crime um that he can pick up and start being a legend again i think wolf of, the wolf of wolf street comes to mind actually if you can get that right sam you'll be a hero in five years time but at the moment you've got to have some alone time <laughs> alone time uh, there's Be more of an opportunity for me to say hi. Hi, Sam. It won't be as <laughs> um, I just want to give you guys is it going to be around no matter what? Because uh, you know, when you're here to do big things, do they have internet and you're here to piss off big people? <laughs> and uh, those Not that who big, understand, no, I'm pissing off the um. And believe in America what I'm trying to not, do. Not, not a problem. Uh, we'll just rise, not because of me, but because of your own efforts mm. in the right model. Okay. So uh, thank you guys, everyone, very much. There will be a specific Zooms for specific topics moving forward. Okay. Uh, but this is the bend um a zoom call so i'll just like to keep it to event oh, yeah, right, Sam. you know what he's saying you're an idiot uh, back over to Andy. um i look forward to the rest of the call thank you okay. ah. thank you so much uh ladies and gentlemen uh if you uh it's your first time here I don't know if there's a few. Uh, there will be an opportunity. I'm sure one of our Avengers has got into this meeting, and I, I want to see. They'll do the presentation. I'm just going to read this disclaimer because this is the sort of disclaimer. This is the worst one we've actually seen. We've gone over it a few times. But Vend is no, no one. Sam is nobody. He's full of shit. This is just shit, shit, shit on shit. And Sam seems to think he's some sort of, I don't know, uh, crypto lord is a use of a word. And, I mean, I don't get where he comes from. Uh, he's just nuts. And he, he will claim his innocence. He will say he's working for a hypertech group, which is forcing him to do everything. Mark my words, because we've uh, tracked hypertech group back to Chavez yesterday. And I think um, just before we do this, I just need to reiterate a couple of things. I'm just going to go to my uh, YouTube account, and I'm just going to show you, um, to bring it up to modern world, we should actually find a video pretty quick. So this is some of the videos that we went through last night, which is still in my history. So this is when Hyper One came out, and we saw Sam standing in a foyer of some hotel, and this is when he was in hiding, and then he, and then he was allegedly going to come out and start up Hyper One. I just ignored it because I thought it was just people getting on the bandwagon and trying to start up a Ponzi scheme called Hyper One. But we went through their YouTube channel and found all these videos 
and we found something interesting, which I'll show you in a second. Then he came out and he started up, um, what did he start up then? Stable Deo. And I, I have to play this. I know I played this last night, but this is this is me um, doing what I do the best. So I'm just going to stop that for a second and make that large. And I was like, what's happening? I thought, a great. I'll, I'll just go back and start. He's alive! He's alive! Sam Lee is alive! He's come back from the Ecoverse, Megaverse, Hyperplanet, Ecosystem. Yep, he's live. You heard it here first. Sam Lee is back. I was laying in bed. The phone was going red hot. Not as hot as Keith Williams' phones did when he got appointed the global sales representative for Hyperverse. But it was going hot. My phone, people were messaging. Bing, 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 bing. And I was like, what's happening? I thought, I grabbed my phone and there was a video with Sam Lee in it. Ah, can't be him. No, won't be him. No, it'll be some, oh, I looked at it. I played it. I watched it, it. I reversed it up. I backed it up. I went forward. I went backward. I looked sideways. I looked every which way. It was the real Sam Lee. And I thought, hmm. Then I found another message come in. Bing, bing, bing. Have a look at the YouTube channel. I went there and there's all these videos of Sam Lee announcing another Ponzi scheme. Yeah, so, so that was a year ago, and I have have got some videos. But anyway, so we did a video originally about Hyper One, uh, which you can see here, and I just thought it was uh, – I didn't think it was associated with Sam. Anyway, so then we come down here, and we found this video here. And this is actually – now, I got offered $10,000 by – what? You're kidding me. Uh, I got, oh, that's the wrong video. That's why. Uh, one minute, please call up. We want to find the real video. So I got offered $10,000. I don't know. This is quite funny. Rory Ganach is claiming he's got 12,000 people together. We have a member us. group of more than 12,000 people who are seeking truth, justice, and a chance to get our money back. Sam Lee and the Hypertech group operate in Dubai. As a matter of urgency, this matter is going to court in Dubai. Okay, so you won't need to do that now, Rory, because it looks like he could be expedited. But Rory claims he's got 12,000 people who have signed a petition, want to pay him $15 each. And Rory has already tried to encourage people to sign up for a platform where people can get $100 back within 30 days. And that was about um, six weeks ago. Now, I've been chatting to Rory. Uh, he's a nice enough fella. He's told me a few truths about things that I may have got incorrect, but he's, um, which is quite interesting. But he has also tried uh, and promoted Ponzi schemes for a long time, which I'm not a fan of. So we bang heads a little bit. But I did say to Rory, why don't you come on here and talk to us? Tell us what you're trying to accomplish. Because there's a good photo, isn't it? Me and Rory head to head, but two different stories in that one. Anyway, so there was a video here, which I'm hoping is going to pop up in a second without me having to find it. Um, uh, maybe it's this one. Yes, it is this one. Now, he offered me $10,000 if I come up with his last name. Uh, you, I, mean, I don't like want your blood money, mate. So this is Shavas, and his name is Anwar. So Shavas Anwar is your name. Give me $10,000, <laughs> Shavas. But this was him as you're doing a presentation for Hyper One. And it was absolutely incredible um, just to see him on film and also promoting Hyper One when he's a man that likes his privacy, he's got his own tech company, and come out of the woodwork uh, sorry, he came out of hiding, so to speak, when he took over. Um, when he took over, we are all Satoshi from Sam. So their saving grace is that we are all Satoshi has not got Sam in it anymore, so they can carry on as normal. Even though it's been flagged by the state of California as, as uh, cease and desist, do not promote this. They're carrying on promoting it. They've got the same database. They've got the same money. We've been following the money. Every single bit of money that gets transferred from, get this, diversal to the was wallets that's what we've tracked we've also tracked that all the other ponzi schemes are all coming out of one building and sam claims that um he's the tech provider now we've got Shavas claiming he's the tech provider um th there's so much information that to tell this would have to do a, a netflix documentary and that i reckon this is where this is going but what i wanted to show you was this one graph that popped up on the screen that made me absolutely um think what the heck i can't even find it is it this one here and it shows you, I think it might not be this, uh, it shows you the whole company structure of Hyper One. And he talks about how, is it that one? This is it here. So here's 
Hypertech Group, and he explains the structure of Hypertech Group. So this is the organization behind it all. And I've been saying this all the way along. I don't think Hypertech Group has actually disappeared. They're still there. And then they talk about Hyper One, the tech projects. And it's just, when I saw this video yesterday, I downloaded the whole complete um, YouTube channel because I didn't want to lose these videos. And also, this just shows that Chavez is a liar, which is incredible. So yesterday, so what, what we're saying is there's history and there's the now. And how do these companies all link together? And that is honestly the truth of it all. So the truth of it all is just yesterday, we've got everything. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Every I have never seen a pack of idiots like these guys. And I, I mean that in all due respect to everyone. But I, we've got to play this because we've been given this by, I, I was in the tail end of this meeting. And I reckon they are talk because they keep getting banned on Zoom because I keep reporting it. And I have somebody at the top now who's lit reading my messages. Uh, so yesterday's meeting, when they tried to launch their Zoom meeting, they failed with the meeting number ID, and they might be looking for a new platform. So I reckon there's a twofold purpose why Chavez was in this meeting. But these two, I'm not even going to say gentlemen, people, have actually come out of retirement because they think this boomerang thing, that our Avengers went into that meeting and destroyed it. Anyway, so this is the recording. I haven't listened to all of it, but even if we listen to 10 minutes of it, you'll just be blown away how stupid these people are that promote these Ponzi schemes and scams. And you think about these two guys who are meant to be retired businessmen, uh, you know, how much due diligence have they done about Chavez and the history? They needed to come to the crypto Ponzi scheme Avenger and the Avengers and ask us for uh, some information. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned, and I, I think it's really important, on the homepage of my YouTube channel, there's a playlist called Crypto G. And yesterday, Crypto G dropped his third and final, hopefully final, um, video about how this boomerang thing that these guys are talking about is actually done smoke and mirrors. And it's not a hairy fairy video. This is actually showing people the blockchain transactions. And I, I can say 100% crypto G always goes up to 92% of accuracy. Um, but this video, the three videos, if you watch them all, they're only about 20 minutes each. It shows you this is 100%, 92% a scam. And these guys don't do their due diligence. But Chavez, this is just brand new, hot off the press. This has not been seen on the internet yet, I believe. So, uh, well, a little bit with us, but let's have a listen. I'll oh, shut up. <laughs> hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. It's Mike and Mike back here out of retirement. Uh, I know a lot of people heard we had retired from the industry. Thank you for coming this afternoon. Uh, most of you have been on our webinars of some kind before. We have a guest speaker, and before we go, get with them real quick, we're going to remind you, in case you're old and uh, senile like I am and forgetful, how this platform works. Mike, you want to go ahead and touch Yeah, and I, I do want to add that uh, there's only one reason that we, you quote, unquote, came out of retirement. Okay. This is not something we're going to ever do again, because this is the first program that I know I personally, in 15, 16 years, have seen that has true transparency you're going to learn more about that today. But in the meantime, what you'll see is you've been typing in the chat and you can see two columns listed. One that's highlighted that says chat. There's one next to it that says Q&A. And if you've got a question, um, click on the Q&A column and type your question in there. With this many people on, several hundred people, then what's going to happen is the questions can get mixed in the chat. So be sure and put your now, we're going to have the stage open so you guys can come on stage if you like. Um, I'm going to go away and make myself some breakfast because I've got a lot on today and I've got to drop a load off to the trailer. I've only got 25 minutes at the most before I have to go. Um, and I'd like to keep this meeting going. So uh, this meeting is quite long. So what I might do if I have to is um, carry this on on my phone and then when I get to work, hopefully this video will still be running. <laughs> but this is just amazing. We actually destroyed... Uh, their chat room and unfortunately we've got the chat room notes in here but they said they had to edit it out so i don't know where you got this from i don't know if this is your recording or they have launched this afterwards but anyway let's carry on and i'm going to go make myself breakfast so enjoy question in the q a because we're only going to have a limited time for question and answer later and we want to cover it over in that column <clears throat> if for any reason you have a problem the uh, uh and you, a connection problem you can't hear us you can't see us it typically happens because of an internet on your end of, of your connection. There's a lightning bolt um, or a reconnect button that you'll see at the top of the page. 
If you click that, it'll create a new connection for you and should resolve the problem. But uh, the real uh, quick, let's address the answers and questions and answer. I'm going to ask everyone, do not type any questions into the chat until Mr. Chavez have went through his entire presentation. Chances are I've been to three of his presentations. He will answer 99% of your questions before you even ask them. So give him a chance to answer your question before you type it in there. And he has to answer it again because you typed it in there. Please be patient. Give him time. He will go through the whole process. As Mike said, we you know we were in retirement. We weren't doing no more network marketing. Excuse me while I try to turn off my uh, other annoying things here. Here we go. And so we came out because a few people brought this to me, and I was like, no, no. I heard Sam Lee, we are Satoshi. Hell no. And uh, after learning that Sam is not involved in this in any way, shape, or form, I gave him 30 minutes to try and convince me. And when I saw what you're going to see on here, I changed my mind. I'm like, wow, this is something, the most transparent program I have ever seen in 16 years in this space because we were done. We were not more than done. We were burnt done. We were not coming back. There was no way in hell we were coming back into this space. Well, you're going to hell now, brother. <laughs> and this man here and what he's designed and will show you convinced me. If it convinces you that it's real, uh, we got something here. Hold on to the end. With that being said, now, just remember, um, we've found three companies in India that provide arbitrage, flash loan, white labeling, and I've been in correspondence with them. <laughs> and for 5000 US dollars, I can have my own platform set up, which is identical to Boomerang. And Chavez is claiming that he is the, uh, the guy that's writing all the smart contracts. So um, this is just total um, bamboozle. And if you're not familiar with what Boomerang's all about. They're forcing people to pay $10,000, which will give them $3 million worth of flash loan money to do arbitration with. But there's no reason for them to hold back your money. But when you buy a $10,000 membership, they give you $50,000 worth of flash loan money. And if you work like a beaver and you're really, really clever and you, and you do everything, you get it working, the most you could ever make was probably $800 to be fair. So that's 8% of your $10,000. Um, could come back at you if you're lucky as hell. And there's no reason why they just shouldn't give you the whole $3 million worth of flash loan money now. But because this is totally rigged and they're literally paying, we've got the wallet address, we can see the transaction, they're actually paying people's directly into their MetaMask wallets the money. So they're giving you back a little bit of your money and they're drip feeding it back to you while you think you're actually working for your money and you think that you're actually doing arbitrage trading. So it's just a scam. And there's so many, um, you know, so it's a bit of a crack up really that he's claiming that he's discovered, rediscovered the, the, the will, so to speak, with arbitrage trading. So with Crypto G's video, if you're thinking, oh, I'm not sure, and I think Danny's full of shit or any of the Avengers, then you really need to go and look at Crypto G's um, video, which is on my YouTube homepage. Because in there, he shows a real working example of arbitrage trading. And then he shows you what they're doing and strips it right down to nuts and bolts. And then you could look at it and you, there's no way in hell anyone with their right mind could look at it and say, oh, God, this is just fudged. So this is all hype. So don't get excited. Don't rush off and think. But it turns up in my MetaMask wallet because the delivery man is Chavez or Hypertech Group. Uh, we're going to minimize our cameras, give Mr. Chavez. Uh, he's the CEO of a company called Boomerang, The Floor. And please hold off your questions. Any questions are only for Boomerang. Please don't put any other type of material or questions in there. You will find yourself out, of, out in the cold. We will remove you. So we want to respect his time and your time. One so last thing before you introduce Chavez, we want to say thank you to each and every one of you for being here. It, it will definitely be worth your while. So thanks for coming because uh, we know you're going to also want to share it with, with people that you know. So, Mr. Chavez, the floor is yours, sir. Thank you. 
All right. I need, I'm new with this. I need understand. to understand how to share <laughs> the screen first. Uh, there is a, on the top, you'll see five icons, a row of icons at the top of your screen. One says turn screen share on. Oh, amazing. Amazing. I got it. I should have explained that to you before we got <laughs> Okay. So what we will do is I will take you guys through the process uh, of the product. I will you explain basically talk about the product. Hey. And I will not touch affiliate model because you guys are better than me uh, in understanding the affiliate model. And I would definitely give chance to one of oh, you guys you, to explain uh, the affiliate. You want to know Chavez's last name? Well, it's Anwar. Uh, we just found that out, isn't that our case? And just to show that, in case you just tuned in, this is him here. And if you take away the message, uh, you can just see it under there because this is an old video of Chavez pushing Hyper One. So it's just friggin' exciting. And you see his name's Anwar, and he actually introduced himself as Chavez An Anwar, if I'm saying that correctly. So yeah, that's no, it's absolutely crack up. So let's go back to this. Uh, because I am quite sure that you guys will do better than me. So, ah, oh, you've got the screen notes. Uh, it would be a bit I complicated for me to do it now. But going to find. Have a look. The good okay. stuff, though. I mean, our ventures are amazing, and the amount of information we get is just incredible. Um, I would love to actually show people the notes. I have an idea. Hey, there we go. Um, hey, at last I sold something. A TV remote. While well, Mr. Chavez is looking for him. To... <laughs> How about this? The guy keeps getting phone calls in this meeting. What a bunch of idiots. Let me turn my phone oh, off. And by the way, <laughs> you know who they were? Well, Mr. Chavez is getting his material ready to show you all. He's going to be talking about an arbitrage program. Uh, if you know what arbitrage oh, is, why don't you go ahead and type a one in the chat? If you don't know what crypto arbitrage and how it works, type in a two. Uh, whenever Mr. Chavez pulls up his screen, I'll just stop talking, Mr. Chavez, if you're ready. Um, the guy, that, uh, the person that's ringing them is actually George. And um, I, I'm going to see if I can find uh, the, the the voice clip he sent me of him talking to the guy. He keeps on ringing him during the meeting. That's why his phone's going off. Silly man, I forgot about that. You ready? Definitely. I am ready now. Hello. Okay. My you want to share your screen, sir? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm lying to the people. Isn't this? Because I want to. Who are you? Hear that? This is Bob bringing them in this meeting. Uh, Hello, Mike Wilkish. <laughs> yeah. Why are you lying to the people? Because I want to. Who are you? Oh, you're a crack up, mate. Anyway, so that's why his phone was ringing. Is that right, George? Most people, a few people don't know, and we'll explain that at the end for who don't know how arbitrage works, okay? It's basically Anybody? buying crypto, and you'll see here how that works. Mr. Chavez, all yours, sir. Okay, can you guys see my screen? Yes, we can, sir. Amazing, amazing. All right, so let me introduce you all to Boomerang. Uh, why now, I don't know about you guys, but I hope like hell when they lose their Zoom connection, that they think they can use this platform because it's so easy to hack. It's going to be hilarious coming forward. We named it Boomerang. Going forward. is simply because when you throw Boomerang, it comes back. Okay. So uh, it is based, it is AI tool, artificial intelligence tool, which basically borrows Flash Loan and bounces back to the lender. It comes to you. 
makes you profit and goes back. So there is a concept in decentralized world, which we beautifully call flash loan that comes to you when you have ability to write a smart contract on solidity perfectly well. And you can use that equity to do anything. All right. So when we understood in detail, uh, having past experience in running tech for various companies, various uh, structures, different kinds. Okay, so at the age of 17, this is what Chavez told us when he first came out of, uh, started working for, with, on, we are all Satoshi. At the age of 17, he started up his own corporation. He was too young to get the company set up. He had to get friends to help him set up his own corporation. Um, he provided tech services to Marvel Studios. He also provided tech services to government departments and it gets better kids. He's discovered, he dis his uh, company developed some form of AI that every single person in the world uses. However, he can't tell you what this is because um, of he signed NDAs and it just made us all crack up. So Chavez at that time was 27 years of age. His birthday is over the 12th or the 14th of December. I've got it written down, but I keep forgetting. He's now 28 years of age. And he's the man behind the scenes, and he's done very well for himself, just like Sam Lee, who was a billionaire. Uh, so now he's talking about his tech company and what he's developed. But this is just a white skin labeled website doing transactions that go bing, and it's absolutely just a joke. So if you haven't been following all this like we have, <laughs> here you go, some information you probably won't believe first time you hear it. Kind of uh, ecosystems, not just... Uh, affiliate marketing is very new to me, but I have worked in several different industries when it comes to tech and I have provided uh, different levels of technology, especially in fintech to various companies, various uh, brands in the world. So when we put a lot of thought, we did put a lot of thought on flash loans, we we're trying to brainstorm how can this equity be used frequently by number of users, the scalability perspective of flash loans. Then we came across the best way to use equity when you have uh, a lot of it in trade, the best uh, way to use your money which is liquid is to trade and in trading what happens is we make profits well we go in the market to make profits always nobody gets into the uh, playground to lose but what happens is there are losses as well so at the same time there's a concept there's a niche in trading which we call arbitrage in which you play to win and also with a concept of flash loans there is a fair chance of winning i will explain how and why okay so we are collaborated with different ai tools uh, already existing in the market to ensure that our platform runs with its own and learns with its own analytics like it does not it is not dependent on the users on the basis of uh, you know use to learn more this ai learns from its own operations okay so moving forward boomerang introducing boomerang boomerang is a fascinating concept that combines in elements of artificial intelligence, zero collateral flash loans, and arbitrage trading. So these elements already existed in the market. Flash loans, which requires zero collateral. You just need knowledge to write a contract in uh, solidity. And then arbitrage, which is coming uh, from history, from ages, and these elements 
were put together by us to create this fascinating tool. So now that we got liquidity, we got access to equity through flash loans, and we know what to do with the money, with the equity that is arbitrage. Now the goal is to find the arbitrage opportunities, uh, the, the signals or pips to what to buy, what to sell with that money, with that equity. Then the real uh, utility of AI came into picture. And we started writing algorithms that goes into various decentralized exchanges that researches whether the assets which are liquid in the market are affecting the order books in the right way? Are we good to buy them, sell them as pairs? Are they uh, liquid enough? Ooh. Are we going to face price impact or not? Are we going to face enough slippage that our trade is going to be profitable? All these aspects are covered by Boomerang the AI component of Boomerang. Right. So and you do realize like it's I explained, bullshit, arbitrage is just turned in, in, you... in the market from ages, from history. So, and also there's a component well, which people ask because we, we have exposed a Boomerang with affiliate model, with existing affiliate model of Vero Satoshi so people ask, uh, is, is this legal? So when you go on Google, you can Google it right now. If you have, if you are sitting on your computer or cell phone, just type. Most of you from uh, are from United States. So I can also type for you. Um, <laughs> is this legal? Okay. The part where you take $10,000 for a license isn't legal. I believe you you guys can see my screen no no do if i type if is arbitrage legal in us it will say arbitrage trading is not only legal in us but it is encouraged as it contributes to market efficiency so now that we understand that arbitrage is not just uh, you know legal but it is encouraged by governments, by government, by regulators. So the components of Boomerang are entirely decentralized. That means it works with decentralized exchanges. Testing, it, one, two, three. It brings in liquidity from decentralized flash loan protocols and it generates profits in tokens coins that are uh, that comes to you in a decentralized wallet so it is purely decentralized and purely legal okay moving forward what is a d5 flash loan as i explained many of you might know it already flash loans are a concept uh, within the d5 space that offers you access to equity on you guys can hear all this, all right? set conditions of equity being returned within the same block of a blockchain or within the same transaction of a blockchain. So we are working with Polygon right now. We are about to integrate Ethereum and Binance. So oh, if gosh. Polygon block takes 30 seconds to close, the flash loan, the access to equity will be given for 30 minutes to you. And it will, it has to be returned after 30 minutes with the fee that is associated with the flash loan. Now I'm going to move this to a car <laughs> and kind of carry on running this uh, for a second. So what I want to show you guys just briefly, if I can, is I want to flip to this tab, and this is crypto. Um, did that work? I don't think it did work, did it? No, it didn't. Uh, stop screen present. We're just going to go back to this 
screen present and a share screen hypertech group uh i think this is the one all right so this is the video of crypto g that he did yesterday we need you guys to help uh, we've got some great likes and great comments thank you so much please do keep them coming but this is crypto g's uh video and i'm just trying to make room on my screen so it's called hypertech group presents king gambit and uh, it's friggin amazing so in the this will actually show you that this every, every single thing that sharpest is doing is a lie and if you can do us a favor and you've tuned in on the other thing please go in there and share that video like that video let's get that out there so google can pick it up um i played that video within yesterday's live in fact i was up at 2 30 in the morning um getting ready for the meeting yesterday morning it was a very important video because a lot of people are forking out ten thousand dollars um at a time so i was just going to show you that this is what they're doing with the money guys they're literally siphoning the money out of the platform into binance so it's not even staying in the platform and this is their wallet address where you can actually see a transaction for 7.2 million dollars and you can see that below there's two in transactions for 2.2 uh 2.4 2.5 and what this is actually showing you is that money has been siphoned out of this platform so they don't intend to keep it here and we've got all the tron scans so the yesterday or the day before probably is we got given this address here and you can see all the ins and outs transactions sorry it's not going to be too good but see all the ins and out transactions that's what you're looking at kids now if you go over here you can actually see look at that there's a seven dollar trade somebody must have gone crazy and put the whole fifty thousand dollars down in one go but you can see three zero zero these are the trades that are actually happening so this these transactions here is what you call the boom fund controller and when you watch crypto g's video you'll see that we've tracked every the on the blockchain you can't hide but what you can hide is you don't know who owns the accounts so over the last few months they've been doing all these demonstrations and we've managed to nab their wallet addresses and that means that we can track the money now i haven't got them all tagged but crypto g has been tagging them so that video link i just gave you if you're sitting here and you're thinking oh we don't know what we're talking about you've got to watch the 16 minute video go do it now but please if you you see what's happening here we need to create awareness and how we can actually do this is literally by um what am i trying to say literally by it opens it five percent uh you know creating awareness and that will help out so i've got to go dump a load off to the trailer and i'm going to get ready for work I, I want to leave this plane this video is actually quite long so that means i won't be able to bring comments up on the chat room and see things like this so keep an eye on the chat room and if, if, if possible um when someone is available i'll put them on stage and they can join me so there won't be much commentary going forward however this is me on my mobile phone so let's just carry on listening to Shavas uh lie to everyone and we have proven this and uh and hopefully this will go smooth if not i'll see you next time but hey thanks very much guys so when a flash loan has been issued the smart contract rules ensure that the borrower pays back the loan before the transaction ends if this condition isn't met the smart contract reverses the transaction and it's like the loan never happened at the first just place. Just testing my mic. Okay. There is a catch here. Just testing my mic. So this practical explanation of flash loan has given us a very good marketing point, or you can say USP, a unique selling point to Boomerang that whenever there is a condition that flash loan cannot be returned to the issuer or you can say lender within the same transaction with the fee it will reverse and it will be like the loan never took place it never happened and that gives the ability uh, to boomerang to only and only execute profitable trades so there is a guarantee that boomerang never executes a loss making trade this is not by magic this is the 
practical explanation practical uh, adaptability of flash loans that it will never happen so while we will play with boomerang you can use boomerang it is uh, available in beta test phase right now to everyone and while you will use it you will realize that you will never ever make a loss making trade okay so we will take an example of flash loan so let's say i borrowed 10 ethereum so I'm doing uh, today, guys. <laughs> ethereum has to come and it will be accessible to the smart contract and then after the dump uh, we we can use as a trader to buy some asset in one decentralized exchange where it is undervalued or where is it, it is overvalued and then sell it where it is overvalued or where it is undervalued and then in this transaction there would be a difference the difference would be your profit and profit uh, can stay with you and you can first you have to first pay back the flash loan and then the profit stays with you which is the difference in this uh, whole process which we also call mispricings of the market and mispricings exist in the decentralized exchanges currently we are going through we are sinking 18 decentralized exchanges with boomerang so this is the dap interface which i will show and demonstrate after the explanation so there are features this deck will be accessible to you all as well okay the benefits i explained it almost all of them collateral free flash loans there is no credit instant access you click you borrow flash loan and you execute arbitrage and you return and the profit stays in your metamask wallet or any decentralized wallet that you use to operate the boomerang dap there is liquidity provision there is no risk there is reduced capital lockup lower cost here are the networks that are going to be integrated we are operating with polygon uh, right now in the beta test phase we are about to integrate ethereum and bnb with the beta test only and then after the launch we will so the really the thing that they do here is they talk about all the legitimate people and all the legitimate things to give you legitimacy but they fail to talk about the elephant in the room and the actual mechanics of what they're actually doing and, the, and it just doesn't add up so it's it just pisses me off when I hear him raving on about things that aren't going to happen. But this is just to build that, build that rapport with you, you know? So in flash loans, we can access like every transaction, $10 billion. So we will be working with Radian, DYDX, Uniswap. So four liquidity providers, uh, around 50, 60 odd billion dollars will be accessible oh. to users to borrow flash yeah. loans throwing big money at the these are the dexes impressive. that we use to big execute <laughs> the arbitrage trades these are the wallets which are functional hey, no, more Richard, wallets are functional. Okay? Uh, you can basically go I'm to any driver. decentralized wallet and type in uh, beta.boomerang.trade it will function these are the aggregators which we are using right now uh, paraswap open ocean also we have included one inch and uniswap uh, so the aggregators are used to basically understand the route of these arbitrage trades. And then there is a timeline. There, is, there are three versions uh, in which we are going to work. So integration of networks, Ethereum and Matic will be and done in one point goes before on, the launch. Uh, Aave and Radiant there is a will be lending like protocols. Surely these plus companies are going to tidy up their exchanges end. already Shut integrated. Up, uh, there will be lender fee for flash loans that is 0.05 percent platform fee will be nothing uh, then we will in integrate three more chains in the network we will in include two more lending protocols in 2.0 uh, oh, more left. trading pairs will arrive 
because we are building algorithms, more and more algorithms that will bring more profitable opportunities from various DEXs. We have built two scripts which are functional right now, two algorithms, and we are about to integrate four more algorithms to bring more profitable opportunities on Boomerang, ranging from 0.01% profit margin to infinity. So users can potentially book 0.6% uh, to 1.3% profit, 1.3 to 2.5, 2.5 to 3%, 3% to 15% profitable uh, oh. opportunities. Oh. And oh my we God. have Did seen users making 30%, 40%, also 800%. Uh, because it is, it is all based on the market, uh, which is currently uh you know operating so you can take leverage of any mispricing which is available there is ability to import tokens from outside as well on boomerang this is a tool this is a ai tool it has no restrictions it is open source you can bring pairs from outside and trade but we also present you this is a domestic product at the same time mm -hmm. we present market opportunities to you so that you can act on them and make a sure short profit and then we will integrate in 3.0 more chains more lending protocols and also we will build an automation bot on this but first we will wow. operate for a couple of months with manual trading, users hey, will be Josephine, able to manually nice to arbitrage here, nice nice. by selecting here the pairs themselves. Today. So we need to <laughs> test the automation properly. So we will take a couple of months to bring the automation. And then we will move towards the mobile application. And with time, uh, with the launch, uh, we will also include platform fee of 5% because we also need to make money. Okay. So this is the dap interface i will show you live this is the okay so let me take you all straight away to the dap okay so this is the dap i believe my screen is visible right mark Mr. Chavez, let me uh, explain. I, I, some people are not very tech savvy. The DAP means this is his platform. This is on his browser what you would be doing. This is what you get access to. That is a DAP in, in, the, in the layman's terms. So this is not a place you go where you give Bitcoin to. It's on your MetaMask wallet, your crypt. So this is your license, basically, is what you would be purchasing. Go ahead, Mr. Chavez. Yes, we can see it. Okay, so in the test, in the beta test phase, we have tested, users have tested 50,230 transactions so far. They have traded with $9.3 million. They borrowed. They did not put this money. They borrowed. And they made $161,425 in these transactions they executed. And all these 50,000 transactions are there on blockchain. So blockchain never lies. We can go visit my profile and check the platform stats. And every transaction is public. And I'll show you guys. So we can find all these transactions we can click on anyone and it will take us to polygon scan and it will show flash loan came from our way 103 dollars and within the same transaction hash as i said the user has made a profit of 1.38 us dollars that straight away went to his own metamask wallet or any decentralized wallet this call flash loan function enabled the user to borrow flash loan and execute arbitrage by using our smart contract which i will visit this is the smart contract if you click here you will see 
this is a verified smart contract on polygon and it's open source it's written on solidity all the functionalities are there public basically anyone can write a smart contract but building the algorithms was the herculean task that we did so you can find all these trades there on the dap itself okay so now i will show you how boomerang works Okay, I forgot to show you guys. So, so thumb, thumb. you can say, see. When you know you're doing a lot more tasks. And this it mentions Boomerang so? Flash Loan Authority. Uh, it is a verified contract. You, can, you guys can do your own research. I can drop this. Uh, one of the transaction hash. Or you can visit Boomerang and find out transaction hash. So here you see the profit opportunities flashing. These are the market opportunity pairs which Boomerang fetches for you. You can open a dedicated page in which you will find all these opportunities. And you just have to do what? You must, you, you just have to know the difference between uh, one and two. Which one is greater? If you can determine which number is greatest, you can use Boomerang. You don't need to have professional trading knowledge, understanding, or ability to arbitrage at all. This is a domestic product which has scalability to, to touch millions of people. So we can pick up here. Uh, we just need to have acumen of selecting the highest percentage here so on this screen i can see ave and wrapped ethereum i can pick this pair oh it has changed it changes in real time i need to pick up any pair which is looking to me profitable so here it is ave and wrapped ethereum the same pair i will select this and execute a flash loan and make money in front of you guys okay so we borrow Aave so if we borrow 10 Aave that is 932 uh, dollars here I can see in US dollars and I'll pair it with wrapped Ethereum as suggested by Boomerang and it will find out everything about this pair right now oh so this is a loss making trade right now it was profitable but maybe at that instant of time it is not profitable so now that i will try to execute this trade which is a loss making trade by you know it's it's good if i will confirm it will simply say no not a profitable trade transaction aborted so this prevents you from doing a loss making trade at all. So now let's find out a pair again that is profitable. We see Rabdmatic and PYR. Okay, so the process is to uh, refresh it. Okay, till it refreshes let me see more pairs because market is moving it is volatile it is moving in real time so the you pairs also baking skills if you want guys with time I think let's go with uh, 
problematic and naka okay so i'll select problematic let's say we select 200 problematic which is worth 162 dollars and we take naka now boomerang is checking whether this trade is profitable or not yes this is making us one percent i will confirm it it will trigger to my metamask pop-up comes in i will confirm and the transaction goes through there is still opportunity that it can be a loss making trade so it will prevent it after this stage as well but in 90 percent 99 percent scenarios it executes or this time it failed so sometimes there is a volatility in the market that it still cancels the trade and prevents you to borrow flash loan and utilize your flash loan limit to book a loss making trade because there is no one who is ready to pay for the loss there is no liquidity uh, with us we just borrow flash loan and make profit and return so i'll select some other pair okay let's find out okay let's take uh, usdt and rabbitmatic okay i'll borrow usdt let's say i borrow 150 and i pair it with rabbitmatic Oh, it is making very low profit. I will not execute this. I will take, or we can we can check, but it is very low, it is 0.05 percent, which is which will be like a joke. <laughs> so let's find some other pair. Okay, USD USDC and par. USDC. Let's say we borrow 100 USDC and we take part. Let us see how much profit it brings. Oh, it is making a loss. We delayed. <laughs> okay. Again, let us find. First, let me refresh because it takes time to refresh at the first time because it sets up everything for you to trade so while we find any profitable opportunity rabmatic and pyr we can try also we can try usdc and rabmatic this looks good so usdt let's say we borrow 300 and we take automatic so bit already that's a load off okay this is making very less profit let us try to change number ticket size maybe there is oh is that right what, what, what? okay um, it's still making okay, loss yep uh, i've got cash here, i'm not good at this people in the market are they are making oh, humongous man. profit i don't know how zabmatic and it is giving me 1.1 rabbit oh, ethereum the, um, and awe is also oh, giving profit oh the, now um, we are i'm um, good awe and the, um, usdc we, we can go with rabbit ethereum and awe this is this looks wood. like a good pair so rab ethereum and a bit of stuff I will borrow which only 0.2, which is 458. Okay. All right. yep. 
or I can borrow 0.1 wrapped Ethereum and I can select away. Let's see how much profit it's going to bring. Okay, it's bringing 1.24% profit. Yeah, I confirmed. Thank you. MetaMask triggers in. Oh, Confirm. Oh, yeah. It's going to be on the floor in the car. <laughs> Transaction in progress. Yeah. All right, give her the lawnmower back there first. No, 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 wait. Do sit in if you wait. So keep it with you and then just do it on your way out. Okay, Jim. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay, this is completed. Namaste, guys. So the transaction got completed. So you can see finding a pair and uh, executing a trade is not a big deal. You can, you know, instantly do it while looking at the market opportunities over and over. And as this is beta phase, it will certainly have more functionalities by the launch. So we can go to transaction history. I just made this transaction fresh 47 seconds ago. I borrowed $229 worth of wrapped Ethereum and executed trade against Aave and I made $2.75 using that money. This came into my wallet, 27C. Now, a lot of you guys will think uh, it took him a long time to execute a trade. Guys, when he's refreshing that screen, you don't have to talk to 50 or 200 people yeah. online and explain it all. You just click. And a lot of those transactions guys, really that go through for him man. will because he's going through the whole process and that's taking time while other people are clicking and not saying anything. You're just click, 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 getting money. So understand that this is a clicking thing, not a show and tell thing. It, it doesn't yeah. work as well with show and tell. It's a little slower. But when you're just clicking, all you're looking for is a plus one. You click and you go through what he showed you. So Mr. Chavez, thank you for taking the patience, finding the right trade and trying to explain it at the same time. Yep. Exactly, exactly. Now I will I will show them the big, big numbers that people are doing who, uh, who have got better than me. <laughs> because they are, users are sitting on it. This is so addictive. Okay, let me take you guys to platform stats. So you see the profits that people are making are over 1%, <laughs> which profits. is big. It is right? dumber and dumber. You see it? very big numbers also oh, in these because people, they sit, they try to find out, and they find out something, sometimes jackpots, like 39% profit. See, in a pair, see, 45% profit. This guy made nine usdc nine dollars so every trade traditionally is over one percent and people sometimes they take leverage of the mispricings in a very big way so this gives you an opportunity to basically try 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 find out find out where there is a good profitable trade you can make a good amount of profit like that if i will keep scrolling to these fifty thousand transactions i will find out the trades which have made like 50 60 percent 70 percent 100 percent 200 percent 800 percent thousand percent i'm not joking you guys can go and check people have made a humongous amount of profits and, and, so, and as someone pointed out here he had three failures he didn't lose yeah. a penny during those penny. failures there was no losses how many of you have traded forex this morning when the market was all over i did i know i lost some money on some trades if I was guaranteed to win every trade in the Forex, who, who who sees the potential there? Someone was asking Mr. Chavez, the flash loans. It's not a loan that we have to pay back. That's all calculated already in with your software. That That is the profit that he was getting 
That's after the flash loan cost is taken out, guys. That is net profit in your wallet. Exactly. So I'll explain how the how the boomerang works in terms of technology. Now that everyone has seen it and got the introduction, I will explain. So basically, what happens is from point A, from our way, flash loan starts. It comes to the access of smart contract that is boomerang flash loan controller on authorization of you as a user who triggers the request to flash loan according to the request, according to the flash loan limit that your wallet possesses, which we provide you, we sell you in licenses. And that flash loan is then uh, gets in contact with the contract. That contract executes flash loan according to your demands the pair you selected on the basis of recommendations on market opportunities and then the same contract returns the funds let me share my screen and show the transaction hash in detail so that you guys can understand properly once again uh, Okay, so this transaction I did like a minute ago, six minutes ago. So here you can see the flash loan starts from our way. It goes to this contract and this is all happening in one transaction. This has just one transaction hash. It does not have different transaction hash. And then it goes to this smart contract that controls the flash loan and executes trades. And then this contract returns the money to Aave with the loan fee. So flash loan came $229.39 and it is returned $229.51 along with the fee. And $2 was made in profit during this transaction. And this $2 was submitted by this contract to the profit controller contract where this contract which is profit controlling disperses the funds the profit to your wallet as a user and transaction finishes here and in this transaction i spent 12 cents of gas fee that means around i made around 2.63 uh, dollars by spending 12 cents of gas fee here in this transaction. So this is how it works uh, fundamentally as the smart contract, which executes arbitrage, which also borrows flash. Loan. So now we can uh, check and ask, uh, you know, answer some questions. Uh, should I read the questions which are available in the chat? Or uh, Shabez, I'll go through them real quick for you because there's a lot of repeat ones. One of the questions mm -hmm. that came up, I'll just how does a user decide on how much uh, to ask for? What do I ask for? Hundred dollars or five hundred dollars? Okay, okay, nice. It's a nice question. So this this is the basic, uh, you know user acumen which they will develop after hit and trials you don't need a professional course training as a trader to use boomerang you type in a thousand dollar if it is showing a profit then you execute the profit if you type five thousand dollars if it is allowing you to book one percent two percent three percent fifty percent hundred percent whatever profit then you book it. If it is allowing you profit in $500, you execute. If it is allowing you $100, you execute. So it depends on user and users will learn themselves. So you can do unlimited number of trades. You can use 
any ticket that price explains it, man. based on your people requirement. People aren't allowed to do Maybe big transactions because in time, are, they don't want to keep are, paying people manually kind of, out of their you wallet. Different mindset. So they'll have an excuse for doing so. There are two types of people in this. There's no way how anyone ever Maybe will get more than $10,000 off this platform. And watch and try different, different pairs and see if you are making a 2%, 3% profit. Some people will be like, no, I will just find above 1% and I'll book it right away. And they will sit and click, 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 execute and book all the trades above 1%. Whichever they find, they won't uh, bother to look for a high, low. They don't care. They just see one, they book. They just see one, they book. So they will consume the flash loan limit faster and they can buy the flash loan again, the, the license again and consume the same. There will be second type of people who will just sit, relax, find big opportunities and only utilize their flash loan in booking most or they can they can set a preference that they will never execute a trade which is not above 2%. So they will sit, they will find those opportunities. Right. Maybe they uh, it and try. A great way to put it, guys. I'm going to use baseball. There's people who try to get singles and doubles and win the game. And if you're the home run hitter, only looking for the home run, you're going to get a lot of failures. Why would you do the 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 hundred, two hundred dollars? If you did two hundred dollars fifty times an hour, you there's a chance you will make more than the ten percent guy looking for the one big trade. Because it has to have liquidity on the on the exchange as well. So some people think it's better to go for the small little nibbles. You know, you keep nibbling at that 200, 300, 200, 300, but you're able to get more successful loans. So that's, that, that, like Mr. Chavez says here, it's really on your mindset. Me, you could average 50 trades an hour. If you're getting 1% 50 trades an hour, you do the math. You can make... The whole idea is how fast you can use your flash loans on the license. And once you get that, you, you, you've you profited from that. So that is the goal. How fast do you want to use that. your license? Put that on video, you freaking scammer. I guess take uh, $5,000 <laughs> loans and be done quickly. Uh, but it may I take you lies and the to get that. that. When you know the truth, so, it's just amazing. You know, where's the threshold for you? That That's the hey, answer, right. easiest way. Yeah. Oh my uh, gosh, I want to go was Mr., uh, slap these Chavez, people in the face, uh, man. We'll get to the cost here. Yeah. Do the I'm gas fees ever to get too high for profitable off, trades? Mr. Chavez, do the gas I'm fees ever get too high for profitable trades? My people think I'm not promoting this. No, no, no. See, uh, the gas fee it's depends on the, the network you are using. Oh. Polygon is a cheap blockchain. Then he's trying to get the commission money. Get uh, to execute your trades at low cost. Right. Ethereum is a little expensive. You will get, you know, sort of the bloody profitability on Ethereum. In the wrong place. We are testing Ethereum right now, so we are wrong. seeing it. The hey, YouTube. Hey, Danny. Higher. At With the beginning, the when he said it will not that so they're high, on not so Ethereum and they're so going to or Polygon the and they're going to get with Ethereum, compatible with different networks. He told everybody and, uh, to go check out the DAP above. To go check out Boomer. Uh, check out very sure. That check out doing arbitrage. Well, why wouldn't because he say check Boomerang out Boomerang in America? The arbitrage <laughs> opportunity with the profitability yeah. Yeah, as well. So why, why wouldn't you say that? Uh, some yeah. If you're selling, what is if you're selling freaking scarves, so let me address that real quick so people the Bahamas, know what he's talking about flash loan. You wouldn't right want to know, have I anybody know where the the scarves come special, from, which is called 3x. You bought, you can buy a size yeah. of license, or, or I'm going to sell one thousand. I'm going to sell a swimsuit 10, in Antarctica. I'm use the five hundred dollars. You don't want to know where the swimsuit if is you made. A five hundred dollar license. You get a hundred and fifty thousand dollars in flash loans. So once you use that hundred and fifty thousand, your license has been will be used up. It's like a prepaid debit card. You can go out and spend a hundred and fifty thousand yeah, dollars. That you never get in crypto. Your freaking money's you're worth. going to net basically your license cost you five hundred. You are going to net a thousand dollars in profit. Then you no, get five hundred dollars back that you spent. 
So that's not even what he explains. Program, you just buy another license or you could buy a bigger license. That's totally up to you, whatever you want to do. A thousand dollars gets, you know, twice, uh, three times as much. So it's 300,000 and so forth. That's for the beta launch licenses. That is before March 1st. After March 1st, regardless if you buy a license now or not, after March 1st, they will be two a crack out. So a $500 license will get you $100,000 in flash loan. A $1,000 license will get you, you know, the, the so forth. It's a 2x profit. It's like there. a bloody even So that is the cost down, of the it? license. There is an advantage to getting a beta launch license. Now, understand the beta launch license does not go live till March 1st. You can get in there now and take a few trades. Mr. Chavez has made it uh, very nice that you could get in there and get like $1,500 in flash loans right now. So you can play $1, with the system. So you get Obviously, paid 15 cents? Obviously, you're not going cents? to make a lot of money till the program goes live on March 1st. And now but that stupid. you do get a 3 guys are mental, by though, moving they? ahead early. Um, so I hope that covers it. We'll go over more than the on the once he gets off here. I'll answer some more know. questions on those. I, I don't want to take up to the do. tech time for him because he has another appointment here. So I am you know, oh, oh, another asking uh, another no, appointment to go scam somebody. API access so you can do your own oh, yeah. arbitrage uh, took my load off, drove off, and left Luma on the ground. On and Luma was meant to go in the um, recycle. Lots out. of money doing I'm this. Driving, so I'm driving around the he's barrier. He's not going to give away the gold goose. Where's your Luma? That would be... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's on the ground. Be, uh, well, I got to go on mute for a second. <laughs> it works. It works 24-7. You got to what? It has yes, you can do it any time of the day. The the market's open 24-7. I got to get out of the truck. It's going to be too loud. You want to get up at midnight and click and make some money to pay for a midnight pizza, you can do that. That's a, totally up to you. Uh, Mr. Chavez, a lot of one person's asking, uh, since you have so many people coming in, do you see this getting to where uh, the trades are not available because there's too many people? Okay, I'll talk about the scalability perspective here. This is a very uh, good, uh, you know, point to touch on. So there are two, there are two challenges in scalability with uh, any product first is the or, or this kind of product first is the availability of flash loans so as i said we are working with one right now which is Awe. you can visit website okay just give me a second if I visit Awe website, I will be able to see Awe has $10 billion in liquidity, which is available across eight Oh, uh, I finally got rid of the old Luma. So this is accessible to us. Life is good. To basically... If anyone else want to come on stage, you're more than welcome. And then there are four more. Coming in. Uh, uh, that we will integrate. Watch, so before the changes. launch, uh, and, and also we are moving towards the bullish run of the market, where this is going to be four or five times uh, in coming few months. But at the same time, so what we say, watch, we're what working with to multiple here. protocols, we will have access he, to, uh, like I said, 50 to $60 billion Jim, uh, of liquidity, can't read that word, Susie. which is going to cover even millions of users borrowing Right, now we're going to go dollars every second. That will go through. Okay. It's going to be the fastest way to do that. And then there comes the arbitrage opportunities in the market. So if we just understand the market and we go to some of the stable coins, the daily hey, the trading volume of these stable coins, oh, that oh, is oh. what goes um, around in the market daily, here? is around each of cool these stable the coins around 20 to if we could, 30 billion dollars. To see if about Sam Lee. Right? The 24 hour volume in the crypto market is 
49 billion dollars so we can potentially so buy sell trade driving anything. around with trailer on getting rid of rubbish from the as there will be different networks a meeting that's different, broadcasted all over the world uh, flash loan providers phone. millions of pairs in which we can Bob, find I need you to get on their zoom meeting so in the scalability in point of view there is no challenge no bob where's bob okay guys uh someone's asking about the fees guys the fees for the flash loans are already calculated into the profit you are seeing the net profit that is what's coming to your wallet after the fees are taken out that is the net uh, if there was yeah. a balance, a negative, as you saw Mr. Chavez attempt a couple of times, the system will say, sorry, we can't execute. Maybe the gas I'm fees sorry. are too high. The liquidity is not there. Whatever reason, there's a couple of reasons, but the loan or the process will not be executed because someone would be losing. The whole system is set up so no one loses. Someone also I asked, well, how does it tie to my MetaMask? How, for the how do they get my coins out of my MetaMask? That's where the system ties to your MetaMask, and you will use, for example, they're using the Polygram network. You will need hey, some Matic someone, coins. Um, I was on one of Mr. Chavez's uh, webinars earlier. Um, you need 20 to $30 to, to pay meeting? for the gas fees. And no the doubt, fees Bob are link up every very small. No demand at the moment. Uh, your $20, $30 in Matic will last you a, quite a while. If we can't uh, um, so get the stream going, we'll put it through there. tomorrow morning. Uh, if I think, Mr. Uh, Chavez, I think uh, oh, you can you buy a, a license. How long does a license last? Mm. I'm going to put it this way. I did some calculations the same Zoom number on myself. If I use a $200 so, loan, um, I'm just using that. It will take me roughly... If I do 50 trades an hour, 50 trades Anyone an hour, which is average, market? and I'm doing $200 loans, it will take me roughly 13 hours to complete my life. Hey, Susie, you rock. Now, how long do I want to click for 13 hours? 13 hours in one day? Thir exactly. One hour a day for 13 days? It depends on how long you click is how long your license will last and how long the size saying, of the so loan. What you're All these are factors. Is this. You can click $500 if you go, get, go through. And your law, your process will go faster. You will get to that net profit quicker. But it, again, it's only up Demena. to you. Mr. Chavez, yes, I think we've got most of it. I can answer the rest and of the questions you're the talking about the network right side. And Chavez is so, to, uh, guys, I, I want to thank uh, Mr. Chavez for showing up here, taking the time. Uh, what got me was when you seen him go to the transaction ID and went to the blockchain and showed everything from the flash loan to going to the wallets, going to my wallet, uh, and the whole thing was just transparent. Never seen anything like that. We've been asking for that for a long time. Yes. I, I really need to hop off. Uh, I need yes. to jump on a different call. Understand. Uh, uh, that's, guys we want to thank you. From here. Thank you, sir, for coming and taking the time to give us a demonstration. Do you think he's got notified that Sam has been a Have thank a good you. day, sir. You too. Okay. You too. So, guys, I'll get to everyone's questions here real quick. Let me start at the bottom. Mike, are you there? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Uh, so let's – I skipped a lot of questions because I know people – I was trying to get to the ones that I thought applied the biggest here. Uh, can we use – Dean, I'm going to start at the bottom here. Can we use Exodus? Right now, Dean, from my understanding, it's MetaMask. Uh, they are going to go into Trust Wallet. Uh, it's in beta. They're adding not only exchanges, but they're adding wallets. Right now, it's uh, MetaMask, then it's Trust. Uh, they have talked about other wallets. So right now, uh, Exodus is not active. I don't know if it's on the list. Okay. Uh, so uh, Bill uh, is asking, so if I spend, what is the average I receive back? Bill, uh, right now, <laughs> if you buy a license, you will receive 1000 You would get $1,500 back. That's easy. You get a $27 if you're wondering. How fast you get that $1,500 depends on how, how much you work. And that's what it is. Is it work clicking a mouse and sitting there taking the trades? Uh, it, it could be one day. If you take $500 trades and you take how many trades? You do 50 an hour. $50. 50 trades an hour at 500 is $25,000 worth of flash loans. 
you have $150,000 worth of flash loans. $25,000 divided by $150,000, uh, six hours. Six hours you would be done with your thing and you would have all the profit. If you're taking $100 loans, you're, you're basically using, uh, you know, smaller size flash loans. So you would have more clicking to do, but you would get more success. So it really depends on the size of the loan you're looking for, plus how many hours a day or minutes a day you want to do this. It's totally up to you. You control it. There's no Dumb and points dumber. you're putting in there Mike except for the Mike gas fees. How much do you want to sit down at the computer of, um, and find the points? That's what Charles we liked about it, wasn't it, Mike? Yes. You are in control. There's no rug pulls. You're not giving him crypto. You're not giving him a thousand, five thousand dollars to invest in crypto trading and all this other stuff that we've all seen fail us before. You're buying a license and it's in your MetaMask wallet. So that's what now he talked about automated. Right now you've seen him. You gotta type in the network you're gonna use and, and the and the coins, the coins. That takes a little longer. Uh, I didn't want to say this with, with him on here, but there's me and Mike has already developed a plan on how <laughs> to double here. our profits. His name is Who would like to know how to double war. your profits? Put a one in the chat. I know how you can easily double your profits. Double. Double. Yeah, yeah. double. Work like a beaver. Doing nothing extra. Until they run out of money. Typical we Ponzi figured it out. How many of you were going to get a $1,000 license? I was. Don't do it. Don't get a $1,000 license. That's not smart. Get two well, five hundred dollars. I'll get ten percent. Why? I have two screens. One five hundred dollars license is as it's circling. Yes, I'm on the Stanley other one. Has finally taking got a charged. trade. I go back to the other screen. Uh, actually, I go uh, back to the other. Charged, now I'm got... taking two trades every minute. Um, I'm yeah. doubling if I only work an hour instead of getting fifty got... trades an hour. I'm now I'm getting a hundred trades an hour. Now. Whatever I was going to make with two licenses. For, um, I'm getting double Conspiracy activity because I can click on the other screen or other browser. Hey, have you got it's a real feed? simple. If you're getting a thousand dollar license, I'm saying um, split feed, it up. Um, There's no advantage the between getting Zoom two five hundred dollar licenses and a thousand dollar license. If you, if you had come Mathematically on, on a spreadsheet, figured it out. See if you can share If the, you're getting a ten thousand dollar license, don't do it. Put, Get two five thousand dollar licenses. Boom, 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 boom. You just go right through them. Boom, 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 As boom, you're boom. waiting there, you saw the waiting, right? You're sitting there eating potato chips, popcorn, pizza while you're waiting for the uh, and process. Brenda Chunga has admitted on another screen. That she's Execute involved another loan with another license. And, um, Get two smaller licenses. Information about, yeah. Or work up to a, a Thanks, second Susie, license. The chat room whichever going. you want to do. I appreciate it. And, and Good that's morning, the everyone. way you can really leverage um, whatever time you want to sit down. I've just muted these guys. Um, I just want to thank everyone that's coming to the, the chat room. You probably uh, may not have caught yet last night's live. It's all about Sam Lee and how he's actually been arrested for um, conspiracy to commit fraud in his share, his role in the alleged $1.89 billion that was scammed from mum and dad investors. And um, yeah, and also Brenda Chunga as well. Bitcoin Rodney is already locked up, incarcerated. So there's going to be a few court cases. This will set the precedent going forth. But the really exciting thing is the fact that Sam uh, Lee, if America does it, that means Australia can do it, and that means he can be expedited from Australia. Sorry, from Dubai back to Australia. Uh, America doesn't have a treaty with Dubai. Well, many people. Let's not talk about that. But anyway. Um, we, there is a high possibility that Sam Lee will get expedited from Dubai back to Australia to face the music. Now, I did notice that in America you only get five years. So I'm wondering if um, if Australia expedites him and, and charges him for serious fraud for the $58 million in his involvement in Hypertech Group and Hyperfund and Hyperverse and all those ones, that he could actually potentially get longer jail sentence if we get him back to Australia to face a music. So it's all up in the air at the moment. We don't know exactly what's happening. But these two gumpy guys that are here at the moment, um, Mike and Mike, is like listening to Dumber and Dumber. Honestly, Dumb and Dumber. It's just incredible. Um, I've had to start work early. I had to load. I had to go to the dump. So you've come to the dump with me. We've got 
Bob, who's probably trying to get onto the Zoom meeting at the moment. If, I would like to know whether it is aptly happening today. And more importantly, I'd love to know their first reactions to their community about the person that started the, the very platform that they're promoting, uh, how, how they're actually telling people not to worry. They're probably actually saying it's a good thing that Sam's been locked up and, and we're glad that we don't have Sam in our company anymore. But this company and the software that runs it is all running on Sam's servers. Well, not Sam's servers, but the tech company behind it all that Sam theoretically owns 25% off, blah, 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 blah. So there'll be some interesting stuff coming in in the chat room. So keep an eye on the chat room and engage, ask questions. There's a lot of people in here to answer your questions. But more importantly, um, we have busted, and I say we, the Avengers have actually busted the scam. And it's just such a cool, the last week has just been amazing. The amount of information that we've shared, Crypto G, Susie Self, um, Bob, uh, you've got even Richard, you've got um, oh, just all the names of all the people that have contributed. Rob, um, you know, have actually all been watching these Zooms, finding out, trying to warn people, and it's kind of all coming together, and it's just really exciting. And there's also, we've now got nine articles, nine articles in the Guardian newspaper. The Guardian newspaper has been going since 1821. They're friends with the New York Times. Uh, and there's a lot, there's a podcast out, there's a couple of podcasts, um, I've been told some stuff is happening with me, which is really nice, and um, and also we, we're actually seeing some action, that's taken years. The meeting is on, so that was a new uh, ID number, wasn't it? Um, interesting enough, that is interesting. So, uh, can you broadcast it, or can you relay what they're, are they saying anything about the... Uh, the um, charges that Sam's had and Brenda Chunga, I mean, surely they must realise they're in the same scam. They're not going to pretend they're not, but I wouldn't be surprised. All right. Boom. So that was the update on that. Oh, is that the lady? See, this is the interesting thing too, guys. Um, because I've had my Zoom account banned, I've got four devices, one at work, um, I've got my iPhone, I've got my iPad, and I've got my iMac. So when they banned me for um, being reported so many times by these guys for um, sharing personal details, Carl Miller's payslip because he's on the dole, i.e., um, literally what happened was all my devices, all the MAC addresses that were associated with my logins, even though I had four different logins, all got shut down. So what we're finding is happening now is because I've been going back and forth to Zoom, I've kind of like got a hotline to Zoom. And when I report uh, these things, I think we're getting more action than we normally would. But also, I normally if I was in front of my computer not driving around with a trailer on, we literally um, get this shut down within 24 hours. So I'm not sure if that's the same Zoom number that they used yesterday. But what I'm guessing from my experience is that they're getting different people from around the world to run these Zoom meetings because they would have had their computer hardware actually shut down. Uh, and that's why we're finding that people that haven't done presentations have probably been big to do the presentation to keep the meeting going. And the reason they're doing that is because they're still selling those, these um, boomerang licenses. And we have been watching up to $100,000, if not more, come into the platform a day. And we've watched $7.2 million being transferred out about 20 days ago. But all the money has been siphoned straight off the platform into um, dormant crypto wallets. It's absolutely appalling, actually. So by all means, um, I would love to know a couple of things, whether they're using the same ID as yesterday. And if so, that means they probably won't tomorrow because we actually are making a difference here. So I've just got some comments coming in. I can't look at all of them, obviously, because I'm driving. Um, but what we can do is put the sound back on. And I can see there's no guests in the waiting room. So we're all good. No, it's all cool. We're just going to do our best today. Listen to what Mike says here. Oh, sorry. Let's turn that back on. Mike was saying $1,500 on each flash loan. We have eight. We bought eight licenses because each one of us is going to try and do four, maybe three or four at a time. We wanted to do that because instead of waiting there like 45 seconds, I, just, I, I want to be able to go to another screen. and which, which we have clicked. So, we right. yes, we tested it. That's and why yes, we're saying what we're and doing. And, yes, the, the transactions do show up on the blockchain. Right. And right now, understand it's beta. So the circling, the time frame, the lag, if you will, is being optimized. It's going to be less. So just uh, like that, just like that optimization rather than typing in the right. It said in a month or two, you'll be able to click a coin and it'll automatically go there. That's going to be later. Right now, you got to put the two coins in like he was doing. It'll be processed. Uh, 
for example, everyone's asking the licenses again. We're 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000. 500, 1,000, 2,000. I think there's a 2,000, maybe not. I think 500,000, 5,000, and 10,000, four licenses. Five, uh, you 1, can get 3, as many 000, as you 5, want 000, when you 10, want to do it. That's how uh, much the money link you can to give join away and get your free spot button. is at the top there. Uh, you can see that to get your position. Now, uh, admittedly, I would encourage you, everyone right? to get a position. Guys, it doesn't cost you anything. And then you can see we're going to give, we got a uh, telegram room. We can give you some more information. Get your position. Uh, because it's going to be a binary. Uh, you, go back if you're going to put maybe a work. couple family members in, you never lights, know. So give it a go. You can make some money from that uh, as long as you got your position in there. So Dream, just, if, settings, it, now, if somebody invited you who's a – Yeah, if someone invited you, Mike, please, please take care of that. Yes. Yeah, so. yeah, just get back with that person and they'll give you their link. But if you were invited through our email, through whatever – So this meeting was um, recorded There's before. the link. Um, it was the, released right there, joinrebelsteam.com. That'll take you to the registration. There's no, there's no KYC. You put in your name and the information about yourself, and put, and then you verify it. Um, they haven't sent you an email. You click a button which verifies well, it. No, Oof, I don't actually understand account. why people. Now, how don't do go you get into the beta so you get that fifteen hundred dollars of text money, if you will? Uh, you buy a Chavez. I mean, Chavez doesn't that, have a last name. Within 72 hours, you do you'll be with anyone who's what last they name. called whitelisted. It's associated with Till March 1st. Satoshi. So have there's a um, now in March 1st cease and desist order published by the state of California. If you get three licenses at $500, so there's lots of red flags already waving. Other than you know, Sam's going to I forgot what that is. It's like 20 times you'll get. Know, like times you'll get and these guys, and Sam, and you watch the Samuel, to video, answer your question, there's the not a limitation on how many all the you can to these guys, and they're kicking no. us out. No. Uh, but remember, the I ideal mean, guys, and this is just me, I'm not a financial people, advisor. If you're going to buy. Yeah, this is where he says he's not a financial advisor, and he thinks he can just say he's not a financial advisor and then keep giving financial advice. If these guys are going to give a community some advice or any advice on anything to do with money, they need to be re regular financial, regulated financial advisors, but they're not. So why do they think they have a right to promote this to people um, as a financial opportunity? And also, if you sign up under them, they get a commission. So this is all just terrible. This is disgusting people right here. The two mics, it's just shockers. 20 transactions. Yeah, he said, I Danny, think he, he said. got in there and was just, instead of refreshing, he was just yep. clicking Confirm, confirm. Danny, he confirm. said that he just kept going it to it to it. No good. How he much do I get? Spot. And he and said it it's one to three or time. three to one or something like that. So essentially, he's trying to tell him that you're going to get for five hundred dollars, you're going to get fifteen hundred dollars. Oh, and my he God. goes, "You're Did guaranteed." He, to... he said, "You're guaranteed," and that's illegal when you say that because you're not regulated to say that. Right. Brilliant. Thanks for putting that up, Richard. Hey, while I'm driving, I can't pause the video. I can only mute it. So the video is still going. Yeah, yeah um, sorry. And, and so thank you. For, if, if people are listening to this, will have listened to it. Obviously, people like you saying stuff like that, Richard, it's great. We don't want to miss those important but, but, I mean, somebody did just mention in the chat room about how um, these guys didn't know that Sam had been arrested. But that, that you know, I'm not picking on you commenting. But, you know, but I have to say that Sam, we've, there's so many red flags about Sam, there's so many red flags about Chavez, uh, and also that we are, all, you know, there's the bolt horizon and all the money gone missing and all the money's gone into cash at bank and all this sort of carry on. There's so many red flags. These guys haven't done any research on this at all, and they've decided to fire up a, a Zoom meeting and obviously broadcast this opportunity to, to their um, their people, and it's disgusting. They don't, they can't promote yeah. something like this without doing their due diligence. That's disgusting. because that's because Chavez thinks that he's got 50 of Mike and Mike's all around the world. When in reality, yeah. he he might have only like a handful more people that are willing to, to do what Mike and Mike just did. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, it, I just, you know, like after been doing this for two years and watching all these Zoom meetings, um, I just get disgusted, you know, and I have zero tolerance for um, everyone's now has to be, um, everyone has to be responsible for their own due diligence. So you, there's a sense of, 
Is it liability? Is that the word I'm looking for? You ha you can't say I didn't think, I didn't know, or I didn't read the newspaper in the morning, um, you know, and I didn't know this was the case. This is stupid. If you if you're going into a platform and you're going to give anyone money that you don't see, and then expect what they tell you to be true and factual, you know, this is just where you need to change your thinking. All right, should we carry on? I'm going to just unhook a trailer and then I'm free from all my work I've been doing for the last few days. Good test. Can you not hear me? Okay. No, I can't. I didn't hear you right. Oh, I, oh, I was trying to say. I was asking about the comp plan. Oh, I was trying to say that's. I was trying to say that's the exposure that we're creating here. We're ex not only are we exposing, but we're exploiting the fact that you have to come and bring yourself back up to, you know, like when all these crypto people say, do your own research. There has to be a, a public requiem, a public understanding, as in 2024, the month of January, what is the basis of the common knowledge for getting your own research? Because that's going to change every freaking day. Not every yeah. month, not every week. Every single day means somebody else is on the cutting edge. And that's what everybody's figured out. I'm going to make the most amount of money based off of I have somebody that's bringing me the right research. I'm getting the right information from the right people. And, and they don't give a crap if they're going to be ahead of you for a lifetime. Because they're like they're, they have the mentality of Sam Lee. Where... We got to get in early. We got to create the opportunity. And if they're not smart, then forget them because they're stupid and they came to us so that they can get educated. But we're not teaching education. We're teaching hey, hey, a process. Hey, hey, with, hey, hey, yeah. I, I'm just unhooking my trailer. You know what that's about. So you're in charge. You keep talking. <laughs> so, but you got to be able to hit mute, right? Or I could just mute myself. Anyway, so they're, they're creating a process where they're exposing themselves. And that's where I've always felt gifted with Danny is because Danny's talking about this, that, and the third, all the different angles about it being a scam. But then when I come, I'm like, hang on, look at it from when I came in. Because you're, you, you know, you started from A to B and you saw before A and B ever existed. But here I am, and I'm I'm basic knowledge, and I can plug ninety percent of the people of the crowd into that basic knowledge where they're getting scammed, and and that's what we're doing here. We're showing the world that they think that they can legally scam people, and it's supposed to be like that. And when in reality, there needs to be thousands of channels like this right here that show you what they're doing in real time. Because in real time, we're all going to learn. In real time, we're all going to come to the place where, oh my gosh, they did that for three, four years already. That's what I wanted to say. So feel free to, uh, you know, I'm not going to go on a rant, Danny. <laughs> feel free to hit that button. Oh, it's just been on and on and on. And, uh, oh, it's just a place. I just think you can
Yeah, no, it's good though. I mean, all right, better carry on. Yeah, my yeah, my no car's covered in dust now. Yep. All right, mate. We'll catch you later. Thank you. And I'll buy you a beer for the trailer when we see you tonight, perhaps. How's that sound? Yeah, whatever. Yep. All right, mate. Okay. Thanks, dude. All right, sorry over there, guys. Right, what have we got? Dumb and dumber. We'll just put that back Come on. Come across that. It's already in there. Use another browser and another email. Uh, and you'll get in there. William okay. Conway, you use crypto to pay for the license? Yes. Yes, we use crypto. USDT TRC20. Really is dumb and dumb. Copying WA. No, uh, we aren't copying anything. Chavez owns WAAS now. Sam, like Mike said, Samley has nothing to do with it. That um, because that's a big question. That Tell we us your trades. We did that on the call. Uh yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what. Uh, and the, I, the the compensation plan's totally different than WAAS was. And, and in MetaMask, you can use the same MetaMask. You have to create multiple wallets in MetaMask. And we'll do a we'll do a call maybe this weekend or something where we can show you our trades and, and taking it. Obviously, we've been playing with it, so we've used a, some of our licenses. We're going to get a, maybe some more, so we can take a couple more just to learn, see the system more, try a few things out. Um, there's a bill and a Pam that seem to really question out of marketing. Uh, don't do it. <laughs> it's up to you. Yeah, I mean, we're we're not we're not here to 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 bend your arm. We're trying to help people. Yeah, um, if you don't like this, don't do it. Yeah, don't we're do we're it. not convincing you. You have to make a decision. No. Everyone here is a grown we, adult. We, we saw trans, we saw transparency that we had never seen before, where we could actually see our transactions on the blockchain. We said that's something nobody's ever been able or willing to show us because the other ones did um did wasn't doing the trading and even arbitrage we never saw were able to to verify that the supposed arbitrage was actually happening chavez has made it happen he's very open and transparent and so is the complete program but if this doesn't fit with what you i mean if you're if you're um frightened because of past stuff or if you just would like to think negative don't do it um, uh, we don't have W A A S. We are off to Sashi with the Sam Lee project about a month and a half ago. Chavez booted out. If you don't believe that, if you believe it's not, don't do it. Log off. Best of luck. We're not here to convince you. We're here to share with you. Use we didn't want own... anything to do with Sam Lee. Right. Ah! That's the only reason because we were in three programs that we did. Two of them we knew was Sam Lee. One of them we didn't know was Sam Lee, and, and so till we found out later. Or, and that's why I said, and most of you read the email, I hope, I said no 10 times because I seen it also, W-A-A-S. I was like, no way. Well, I and that's one of the first Sam things Lee. we asked Chavez about. Okay, guys, if you're going to post links in here, you're gone. I'm going to tell you one last time, you can post all the shit you want in here, but you do it again, you're gone. Am I clear? I guess not. Goodbye. Okay, you guys, I, I we, we explained this. There's a certain etiquette here. You don't believe it? Leave. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. We wish you the best. The old WAAS, on, yes, was a scam. Yes. This the guy old, took it over. The Sam, the Sam Lee one. I don't know what to tell you. I so, mean, we, so we got scammed by Sam Lee. 
I guarantee you, I lost 20 everybody on this call with Sam Lee. I had $250,000 in Sam Lee's exchange when he closed it down. Trust me. I would not get into a freaking Sam Lee program if someone paid me $100,000 to promote it. I would not. Well, you're it. doing it now. But That's Bill, I said no 10 times, guys. Bill, if you don't feel comfortable, don't do it. Right. Oh, you can have videos on everything you want, but this is not Sam Lee. You saw, show me where you can prove the blockchain is lying. If the blockchain is lying, then everything about Bitcoin well, is a lie. Never can hear this. Damn. Micah says Sam, Lou's absolute, Sam Lee is absolutely insane. Micah, we agree. Not insane. He's a freaking con man. This He's does not. This, this uh, there is, is no connection Lee. between Hyper or Sam Lee and Perfect. Chavez. Perfect. So, well, uh, okay, I'm going to start removing some peeps. Okay. Oh, I think I was in the chat room then. <laughs> but this is um, this is so funny because uh, they haven't done the. Go ahead, Mike. So Answer the rest of the question. I want to take care of these. Okay. These guys couldn't run a friggin' Danny. Canoe. You can have all the research that you want. That's fine. Don't do it. Well, what? Why do you have a social responsibility to tell people about this okay. opportunity, idiots? Some people still good. think uh, Trump won the election. I mean, come on. It's been three years. You know, some people believe it. Some people don't. You don't, it, we're not here to say who won, who lost. We're just giving you the information. Take it for as you see it. You know this what I mean, guys? Thing. It's that simple. Most of the people understand the blockchain doesn't lie. Some people think the blockchain lies. Okay, great. And that's why that's we your belief. Emran, you ask place. about um, how to join. You'll see a, a, a link up at the top, joinrebelsteam.com. If you click on that, that should oh, take you to a registration play page. It's oh, free to register. There's no cost. What you do need to do after you register, and it'll pop up and tell you, is go to your email and click on the button to verify that it's you. But that, beyond that... David Lowe is asking, who owns the proprietary rights to the software? Uh, Mr. Chavez, the CEO of the company, no, he doesn't. His company it's white label. Yeah, yeah. owns the proprietary yeah. rights to the software. And that's why someone on the call was asking, uh, would Mr. Chavez be so kind to tell him how he gets flash loans and share the API because he had his own arbitrage software? Obviously, uh, Boomerang and, and the company has spent quite a bit of money developing this. Oh, God, I, I don't think that's nothing. something they're willing to, you know, share, if you will. Obviously, it's proprietary. Okay. And uh, uh, Mran, you ask if it's recorded. Yes, about approximately two hours. Um, the uh, uh, after this ends, um, you'll get an, a link um, at, on the email that you registered with that will give you a replay. It just blows me away. Let's see. I'm looking to see if there's anything else. And right now, everyone in the, the Avengers. No, the no. Uh, Joseph, if you have a team and you invited people here, um, uh, uh, you need your people to get back with you, and then you can give them give them the link. The link We're glad to have you here, but um, this, I mean, this is frankly our call, so... Um, but that's why we wanted to tell people that if uh, somebody else invited you, get back with that person and they'll give you their link. And see, someone's on here saying, show me proof of trades. That was one of the gentlemen we booted. Why did I boot him? Because we asked him six times to stop and he wouldn't. Uh, Mr. Chavez showed you proof of trades three times. We've seen proof of trades every time we've taken a trade. It's on the blockchain, guys. Uh, I, you can watch the replay over again and see proof of trades. But they they get this. There's one guy out there on the video saying there's no proof of trades because he doesn't understand the blockchain and how it works. Uh, they think it can be faked. 
it's you know, situa- frankly, it's situations like that that that. Cause that's why we quit this shit. Yeah. That's why we quit this shit because there's idiots out there. I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, there is a lot of scams, guys. Oh my God, there are so many scams. That's the other reason why. But we came back. We seen the proof that we had always asked for for years. Is there risk? Probably somewhere, guys. There's there's probably a risk. Uh, so you know. We're not, we're sharing it. If, you, if someone doesn't want to do it, okay. No, we don't care. We weren't going to share this to begin with. Uh, we were just going to, I got my four licenses. Mike's got his four licenses. We were peachy. <laughs> we were peachy. I know I'm going to make about 150 bucks an hour every time I sit down. is five hundred dollars but it the value of that license you're getting currently you're getting what one hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of uh, flash loans right mike yes i just will not stop <sighs> we understand people's hesitance with online programs. And again, that's why we left. This just caught us by surprise. Literally every program that I can remember back to 2017, um, um, including the, one of the first ones we did <laughs> that that involved uh, uh, crypto, um, that, that I thought management made a mistake. <laughs> we just found out that wasn't the case. And that person got arrested. Um, so we realize there's lots of scammy stuff out there. Um, you have to judge for yourself. We brought Chavez on because, and he showed you and was totally transparent. He showed it to you on the blockchain. I, you know, I don't know. I was asking, you, what is the commissions on this? Uh, if you refer someone 5%, I think the license, uh, for in other words, uh, $500 is $25. It's a binary. So it pays on the weaker leg. Uh, you may not even get paid on one leg. Uh, we did it because we thought a lot of people have gotten burnt. We've been in three or four binary op, uh, arbitrage programs ourselves in the past. We never did see any hashtags, any transactions. We always asked for them. They said they couldn't show it to us. They gave a trade number, and that was supposed to be the transparency. And we all know what happened to those programs. Uh, uh, what were they, COTPS? There's a, there's a few of them out there. We all know, we all heard of them. Mike, uh, Jay's asking if you buy a 3X pre-launch license, are you locked into the 3X licenses or after March 1st? No. Are all it's, licenses it's, 2X? Uh, your first license would be 3X. It's only a one-time thing. Uh, I wish it was, Jay, 3X, because then I'd be going buying 20 licenses. Uh, it's a one-time thing. You get that bonus for your first license. So I hope that answers uh, that. Or first licenses. Well, your first license, whatever you buy before March 1st. And obviously, if you buy a license today, you can't utilize that whole license by March 1st. So the only way you get another. You can utilize years. some of it, but not all of it. Right. Sure. Only so are years. we buying, are we buying more licenses? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Will the later versions of this platform be totally automated? That is the goal from my understanding, David Lowe. What does that mean? Automated? I don't think it means you just go to sleep and and it'll automatically run. I believe you'll still have to select the coin. You might have to you you're going to have to select the coin, I believe. Uh whether and how much you want to trade. And then it'll probably do it automatic. What, do you want to do $200 trade? Do you want to do 1000? Or everyone would just set, "Well, oh, please just trade me $10,000 each time." So there's going to have to be some kind of interaction. Uh, it's going to be more automated, definitely. Um, Nizreen, thank you for answering my question earlier. So the profit for a license will always be 1% of the flash loan total, and the answer is no. Okay. This person it's, it's, the percentage is based on the, the the selection that you make and what's available at the time that uh, 
um, that it's doing the transaction. Oh, now the, the people, I can see your IPs, guys. When you come in and we boot you from one name and you come in on another name, do you really think we're that freaking stupid? We can't see you using the same IP? Come on. If you're that desperate to try and... It's amazing. Those are the people that you really wonder about. What are they really here to do? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, we don't have a problem if somebody doesn't like the program and doesn't want to do it. But, you know, go, go make a video and post it on YouTube. Goodbye, Lisa slash Danny. <laughs> <sighs> okay, yeah. uh, Dave Arlen mentioned rightfully so that on the commissions it's five percent upfront referral plus the binary and the bon and there's bonuses involved that are very 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 nice bonuses if you're a t if you happen to be a team builder. We'll get a license. Uh, we'll make a video on how to buy a license later on today, um, uh, James. Uh, we'll in the Telegram room. Make sure to go in the Telegram room. We'll make a license. You do want to send a little extra because there are fees on on your block, depending on the wallet you're using. I mean, it is arbitrage. One wallet could say five hundred dollars in UST. The other one's four hundred ninety eight dollars. So I I send four five hundred two dollars. It'll just sit in your wallet extra. So uh, that's just the thing I learned, okay? Uh, where does the money come from to pay people? There's no, it's arbitrage. There's no one paying anyone, Danny. Uh, well, there's a, fee for the, there's a fee for the license. The license is paying the $25 for the uh, uh, binary. It's a $500 license. Where's the crypto you're earning from? That's arbitrage. It's not coming from anyone. It's you going out on eBay, finding this book for $2, running over to Amazon and selling it for $3. That's arbitrage. That's where how arbitrage works. Okay. So David's saying, so basically if you average 1% on $1,500, it's a three to one license. It's a return of three to one. Yes. But understand out of that three to one, you need to buy another license. So the profit is a full 200%. That's how I look at it. A lot of these companies say, oh, my God, you get you made 300%. No, I didn't. I spent $500 to get the license. I got my $500 back. Don't call that profit. It's not profit. You gave me my $500 back. But I did make $200. Or I did get 2x. So it, it's... Um. And Mike Andrea is asking, will it work on an iPad or phone? And uh, I've always done mine on the PC, haven't even tried, but I don't think they have phone apps at this point, right? That's coming. It's a website. You can go to a website and do it. I, I, you I see, mean, it's, I got fat fingers. I couldn't do it so, on the phone. So on, your, so on your iPad, you could, you could go to the website and do it. I've seen someone talking about a pad doing it on I, a phone. Man, that's a lot of, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't even test it on the phone. I would get so aggravated I'd break my phone. <laughs> so I, I'm sorry. And trust that. me, he's broken more phones than you know. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, guys, if you're going to keep posting links in here, you're going to get booted. I, I think I've sh shared that with you about 50 times. <sighs> Telegram again, I think. Okay, uh, I guess we got all the questions here. Okay, are Keith, you guys there, retired Keith, or did you ask the, Keith, there's the telegram for you. Danny, if you don't know that question, research it. Are we retired or do you guys have actually real jobs? If you don't mind me ask what those jobs were. And I would like to know, but I don't get it wrong. You don't need to know what jobs we've worked in the last 55 years. Mike has worked a job in the last 50 years. He's retired from the job. I'm retired from the military. I've been doing a lot of different things. Do you want my resume? If you do, tell me how much you're going to pay me for me giving you my resume. And I'll think about it if the job's worthwhile. Otherwise, I don't give my resume out to anybody. Why should I? 
That's a silly question. Danny, I'm not picking on you, but I'm not that what in my right. Danny, I, I'll tell you what I do is amongst other things, I'm an investor. I trade forex, I trade, I trade crypto. I, I trade crypto. I, 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 I trade I, forex every morning. I, I get up at a freaking ungodly mo hour and I sit here and trade forex. I like it. It's aggravating. I, 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 in the wall. I invest, I invest in private placement stuff. But does that really matter? I think this is valuable enough that I'm going to spend some time doing it. And Jay, thank you. And I'm also going to um, have my kids, grandkids, um, and relatives do it because it's it works fine on the phone. Yeah. Okay, Danny, uh, I think you got enough information. We wish you the best if you want to do it. Hasta la vista, as my friend Arnold would say. He gone. Bye bye. I, I guess I, 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 we try to be patient with people, and then there's a line. It just makes me. Hate I like this to be patient with people, <laughs> yeah, and then I'm going to put all my children in private places. Well, okay. You are now. He's banned permanently. Now he's oh. an permanently, permanently uh, private see, that's the Idiots, you get on this type of call. I'm an idiot, and you're smarter than me, dumb and dumber. Oh, he will never be back. Okay, let's go. Let's go! I mean, we gave if, Danny the you know what? If you don't want to do something, don't do it. But I don't know. Right, don't do He's it. He's a self-professed savior of everybody in the world. So self-professed. Oh well. So he's professing to himself. Maybe his name. Or is he's odd. professing. No, I think professing the to the world. Just coming back with multiple accounts. It looks no, like. No, but I think it's Oz. Oz. I, I don't know. I Oz said Chavez's so real name. First name. Idiot. Oz put in the article asshole. Chavez Anwar. French. So do you want us to go with Oz or do you want us to go with Danny? Well, so which, we, which, we, which we would apologize. you have? We try to accommodate the best everybody. Savior. Guys, we, 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 uh, we the friend. I'm sorry about the the two guys that are on here that just keep logging on under fake names. Dumb and dumber. You gotta wonder why they log under fake names constantly yep. coming back on. You got you gotta wonder why. People come in the YouTube it's chat and act like they're talking to somebody. Obviously, they have some wonder psychological that issues. Uh, and they were scarred as a young child okay. or something. Maybe okay. I don't. Obviously, know. everything uh, you were but scarred. Back to what we were talking about. Maybe, maybe you got scarred on your balls uh, when Taysom so. had to shave them before you got pitched this platform. Huh? Okay, How about Mike, that I one. We got it here. You got okay. ball scars, huh? I do want to Let me look at some here before we leave. This is no different than anybody taking a vacation to like the Bahamas. You can okay. only go in the certain sections. Okay. You can only spend your Guys, money uh, in certain places. Do thanks, to, thanks to every civil person that was here. We do appreciate it. All right. Thank, and, thank you uh, for serving the country, for creating this yes. level of civility, uh, blocker, sir. Blocker. Thank I you. I like that name. Blocker, blocker. You guys yeah. are just Lock sharing you. if people don't want to do it. Block you, bump you. We wish you the best. We don't wish anyone any ill. We really don't. You wish everybody I wish ignorance. On here just to be a, uh, you know, a jerk. I yeah, mean, you're the only arrogant one. A little leash to hang themselves to prove they're a jerk, and you know. Joseph, there, why don't you ask? The telegram why don't you ask your best to come back and talk like that? Joseph, do you're you see the, tough, the link now? You're the tough old man. We all fight for Chavez. So, or you got your own dukes up. He probably is a Ponzi YouTuber looking for me. Yeah. There's a lot of just a punk. Ponzi You're just a punk there. Ponzi they, scammer. They attack everything so they get views on there and they yep. make money from it. I'm attacking back. And, and by Jack. the way, the, it, it's uh, and I got the, the, the axe to grind. You, you want the axe or you want me to take the axe? A channel. Um, and it's an announcement channel. Connected to that is a chat channel. It, they will and they be both closely need to be shut monitored. Down. You will not scammers. be able to post in the channel. You're but both there's a connected group. That you can ask questions and and post in, but well, we're going to watch it very very closely because I I don't want I the Danny's of the world in there. Because you got nothing better yeah, to do. Post, it, it, you can be making one hundred fifty dollars an hour from now until so. infinity. Guys, thanks a lot. Chavez uh, literally we'll, said, "From now we'll until infinity." Sometime this weekend, maybe a little strategy. You're going to make point. 
Uh, You're going to make 0.01% sure to, to, get to get infinity uh, is what he said. Your license. We'll show you how to do that. We'll get a video in the Telegram room in the next 24 hours showing you the process. Is it, is it a penny in another currency or a penny in the U.S. dollars? Last thing, once you get the license, it takes... What country do you want to stand first, listing. Mike and Mike? That's where you can get Dumb and Dumber. And that little limited amount of flash loans they give you before March 1st. Hey, Mike, you may not want to answer this, but in case you do, Jim Narius says, I just signed up. I want to refer a friend. Do I place him on my right to get the spill from you? I would and place I'm them, Jim, to, to get paid. To get paid, you have to have... a. This is you. Then you have to have uh, two legs. He's doing one the VAV gang right. sign. You, you see him? What's called the weakest leg. Uh, so, uh, it, and if you're going to get two licenses, put one under your wife or uh, VAV uh, for life. That's it. Uh, so you you get that. So you get left and right. Can That's I get important. burritos and, and, and others? That do name? the left and right for and buy yeah, your left yourself. and right. If you're going to get two licenses, buy one on. Should be the, the right. Buy one on the left and the right. You got to have one on the left and right. Build yeah. out the left. We're building. He's a scammer right. game banger. We're, building, right. The right. We're yeah. building the right. So build out your left if you're putting people in. You got to have at least one position on the right besides you. So get a five hundred dollars on the and and you'll get paid on the weaker leg. Scam your so, friend on the left. Scam your so family on the right. You when you put your USD in, you ain't gonna left. get nothing home tonight. Uh, and we'll go over that again. We'll make a little video on, from people who don't. And know Gary, that. Gary, yes, it's recorded. About two hours from now, you'll get a link in your email. Unfortunately, your it's going to be a long email. We might do a little editing on the chat. It might Ch take us a little right. Um, yeah. Gary, check your spam um, in about two hours be, in case it comes into spam. Usually, it, usually it comes into the to your regular this email. Two, two hours, hours from now, I'm going to edit hot, two hours of this. This is a two-hour webinar. And then you're going to watch for two hours. No one is going to listen Us talking to about two hours, two hours hour with two well, dumb and dumbers. Half, they don't have to listen to. They can listen to the Chavez part. <laughs> yeah, that he's a part, right, where he saves your balls? Idiot, Danny. Oh, that idiot. Oh, my sister has finally arrived. Hi, <laughs> Spence. <laughs> Hello, Who's that, Lucky? Lucky well, and Tammy. Well, thanks to everybody. We did not intend for I met to somebody today long. that dated Tammy. Thanks for your patience. Mike Mike. A lot of you are still here. Um, so hopefully you got um, most of your questions answered. Uh, uh, one, one last question. Answered. Uh, we'll be sharing the Telegram replay. Well, we'll like you were doing the Q&A by yourself the there, buddy. It's going to take us a little going through this thing so but you still get you'll still get the replay you just uh <laughs> doesn't anybody ever wonder why some people are they don't show proof of concept of for anything that they call a service <laughs> or a product luck, guys hope you have a good weekend thanks uh, we'll luck, guys. information out there for you uh take yeah. care and hope everyone has a nice are week. they in the same all office right. they sit like that next to each other all day danny where'd you go Bob, Bob, come take over the channel so we can see what you're seeing. Mr. Bill. Danny boy, who's out there? There you are. I can't hear you, Danny. Two adults talking about left and right legs with straight faces. Oh, come on, Rob. <laughs> Danny, can't hear you, bud. Can't hear you. See your mouth moving. Can't hear you. I'm going to leave and come back. Maybe it's me.
Can't hear you still, man. Try like turn off my turn off. Turn off. Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Now I'm going to bloody echo, bloody echo. Is that better? Is that better? Okay, I know you uh, shut it off. How about that? <laughs> Am I working? Any good now? Brum, brum. So it's, uh, okay, so is that a yes or a no? Do I sit here and talk to myself? Or should I talk to you, Pixel? Pixel, what are you doing? Thank you, Susie. Somebody actually communicates properly. We can hear you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, that's um, an interesting one. So what I wouldn't mind doing is if we can keep this going for another 15 minutes and I can get the sound, as I've got a video that's on my YouTube channel and it's off Chavez again. So if we were looking at... Um, if we were looking at what we want to know, I mean, obviously Sam's been charged for conspiracy to commit serious fraud and then we've got uh, hopefully Australia will follow through with their um, their investigation and also charge them and then we're hoping that obviously Australia will expedite him out of Dubai back to Australia I do believe Sam's going to claim that he's part of a criminal network called Hypertech Group and he's extremely innocent and that's when they'll ask me for my videos right? Hey! <laughs> the price of <laughs> There's some good news. Oops, not that one. That one there. Look at that. Dying. And then you've got idiots claiming that like dumb dumb and dumber this morning are literally claiming that Sam Lee has nothing to do with We Are All Satoshi. And just because they deleted a whole lot of videos off their YouTube channel and Chavez has been running it, yesterday's video actually showed Chavez promoting Hypertech Group as the founder and the company behind Hyper One. And that shows. Good morning, Lisa. You're looking lovely today. 
Um, so it's just absolutely brilliant. Um, I've been contacted by another paper who wants to know, get my story as well, which is quite exciting. And it's, um, so we'll hopefully get another story out there as well. But I'm going to have some conditions on this paper if they want my story. <laughs> uh, I'm not just going to give them all the information. Um, anyway, it's nine or eight lines of boomerang. Nobody knows. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, so what I want to do is I'll get to the work computer. Pixel, hold on, mate. We're in traffic. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's about it. Anyone else want to? Oh, there's a guest on the stage. Is that Richard? Richard, you're very noisy today. Just saying, behave yourself. Don't over talk the host, okay? Because I'm getting pissed off. Right, you're right there. What happened? Uh, you over talk me sometimes, and I'm getting really upset, and I had to get therapy. <laughs> but. What you do uh, when they end the when, when they ended the call when they end the call I couldn't hear you no more. Oi, oi, oi. When you talk, you breathe in between sentences, and then if I go to ah, uh, you go oop, and then we have a conversation, right? That's where you go. Yes, Danny. Yes, Yogi Master. Richard, where did you go? <laughs> oh my God! Have I lost you? Have I got no sound? No, I I couldn't hear you before. I know, because I, I was trying to get the sound going, and I had you in there talking non-stop, and I was trying to stop you from talking so oh. I could have a whack. I didn't have a microphone, and then it just went shit. So I'm, I'm about five minutes from being in front of a real computer, and I'm going oh. to fire up a um, a video of Shavis, um promoting Hyper 1, which basically shows that he's been involved in promoting his Ponzi schemes before we are all Satoshi. So hopefully I'll get a chance to do that. But I'm juggling things pretty terribly today. Been to the dump, got up at quarter to six this morning, stuck on the live stream, took a load of rubbish to the dump, dropped off the trailer across town, come back to the other side of town, lost my sound. And then my partner rings up and goes, oh, can you come pick up the dog? He's going to be home alone. So I've got Pixel now. And it's literally nine o'clock and I start work at nine o'clock. So I'm about two minutes late. And now he's getting excited because he thinks he's rather gone. So, yeah. Anyway, Richard, how's your day going? You, you at least you can take now. Pixel with you. Minutes. You can talk for five minutes because I'm getting ready. Go for it, mate. I'm listening. I said, I said at least you can take Pixel with you. Yes. Yeah, no, it's good. I'll show you that setup in a minute. Are well, you ready for work, Pixel? All right. I'm all, and I didn't get all dirty, which I was worried about. But yeah, so it's, been, it's been a good day. So, um, right, Pixel. They were dead. Oh, okay. Right, let's go. Let's go. So what? So what? When the video ended, it, it cut your mic off. Well, it's here yeah, because it's the sound doesn't switch over, and it, it, even I don't know why it did it. It's just horribly complicated to explain and, and run. It's actually very clever software that we use. So it's quite exciting. Here you go, Pix. Right, we're in there. Alarm's going off. Welcome to my work. This is where I work. Yeah, take your time. I'm about to go on mute. Don't look at the code. <laughs> hey. Right, there we go. Right, lights on. Camera. That's where Pixel hangs out. Doggy gates. I love it. Yep. Hey, Pix. I'm going to sort that out. Right, I'm going to work at a uh, New Balance. The other before. morning you might have been watching um, me. Um, what's the private chat? Okay. <laughs> uh, awesome. I love the Avengers. We, oh, it's just been so exciting lately. It's hard to um, not get too excited. <laughs> it's just so exciting. I'm going to put the flags out. Right. Yeah. So what do you what do you take away from Mike and Mike? That they're legitimately right, yeah. wanting wanting to be stupid or they literally uh, wanna yeah. promote boomerang? Yeah, what what's been happening in the meeting that you can tell me? Did they mention anything? Did they mention oh, I don't anything know about, about the, um, them? Oh I don't know. I asked uh, Bob, while you were on mute, I asked Bob to 
to hit the button so we can see what they're seeing, but I'm not in there. Uh, did they broadcast it live, do you know? No, I, I, I think they were commenting. I think Sue put a link in there, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Does somebody want to have a quick look on their We Are Satoshi Facebook, um, sorry, YouTube account and see whether they've actually streamed it? Because if they have, they're very ballsy. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to figure out, is how mental are these people? The guy that started a Ponzi scheme's just been done for serious fraud, and they still get on here and say, oh, no, no, Sam's left. Chavez, no name, owns the company. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. And then, and then when they want to continue that line that Chavez is the owner, who do you tell that to? Who, what government do you go to clarify that with first? Yeah. No, it's crap. Um, Lisa. Oh, you're awesome, Lisa. You're on stage. Here we go. We're going to get the crew on stage in a minute. Let's um, go. Here you go. Good morning, good morning. It's time to oh. rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's eight o'clock at night here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I forgot this password. Hold it. Yeah, this is always the best time for Danny on the internet. Yeah. So I don't uh, like yeah. sitting there like Mike and Mike. Like you said, he likes to do 4X in the morning. I don't like to sit there in front of a computer. I like to be bouncing around, you know, city to city yeah, or whatever, but <laughs> not in my still, seat, but I, I mean. I reckon one day if you turn up with a gob, uh, one of those babies gobstopper thingies in your mouth and you're bouncing <laughs> up, we will not be surprised. You talking about a, a, a sucker or are you talking about a... Uh... Yeah, you have to do it um, just to <laughs> cube in me one day. Uh, but yeah, I like, I like to see Danny when he's, uh, you know, he's ready to go to work. Yep. We're going to be there in a minute. Come on computer. I'm trying to log into this computer at work and it won't let me because I can't remember his password. Uh, T. Hey, we're in. Right, let's have a look. StreamYard, here we come. Um, so we don't know. Um, we don't. If they're know live right now. If I leave the if I leave the uh, StreamYard to look at the YouTube chat. Oh, you know, you don't know. Other people can I, do that, mate. Internet yeah, I might as well yeah. though, because I'm about to go on mute yeah, anyway. Got it. Let's get this going. So what do I need? What do I need? Me on stage. I need, I need to, to mute, mute myself. <laughs> All right. Ooh, that was pretty uh, pretty intense. Just saying. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> hey, how's your how's your cold going, Susie? Lisa. Oh, that's true. You changed your name on me, eh? <laughs> Cunning <laughs> out of stealth mode. How you see what you did with that? Uh yeah, Lisa, sorry. <laughs> Um, let's just have a wee look to see if um, we are all Satoshi is broadcasting. We are all Satoshi. Uh, and we're looking at. So, what we're doing here is we're going to present screen share. Now, if I just walk away, it's because the customers come in the shop. Um, so we're looking at live and they haven't like uh, done any streaming for six days which is pretty cool yeah all right so now we're going to go switch accounts and hopefully i can log into my account uh and now what we want to do is go to my videos and i want to find the video of we've got yesterday's one but this one's in hindi uh, this one here, I think, is the one I want to play. And this is another another Chavez one. So Mr. Awar, <laughs> with lots of hair, no hair transplant necessary in this one. So this should be opening up here. And I think we play this, we'll have a few laughs. What do you reckon? Yep. 
and I'll put that over there. Uh, he'll be just waiting for the Zoom meeting. So this is six months prior to We Are All Satoshi, and I have not watched this video yet. Uh, I've not asked this is going to Six months, meaning this, this was this uh, time a year ago, or six months the first We Are All Satoshi. Uh, when you first saw him, uh, this is when Sam came out of hiding. He's been hiding for eight months after taking off for fifty-eight million dollars from Australian investors. And then he popped okay. up in a Ponzi scheme called Hyper One. And then we found these videos. I just found these yesterday and never realized Chavez was running meetings. So after doing this for this happened six months before we ever saw Chavez on the scene. Right. Shoot. Yeah. So this is this is just absolutely brilliant. Yep. Um, that catches him up in the lie. I don't know if anybody ever caught that, but when he came trying to start hey, the good btc morning, good scene. afternoon good evening everyone oh, it's mike and mike back here out oh, of re give them mike and bloody mike wow yeah so this was um quite good so we're just i think we've, we i wanted to play this yesterday but i i just i don't even know what this is about but mr anwar that's your last name you dirty prick i don't want your scammer money but you owe me 10 grand <laughs> two more minutes to go please keep sharing leaders the number is going up. Yeah. So uh, as I said, I'll have to come and go as customers come in. But um, let's just play this through and see what happens. Um, but I would like to get a. I would like to get Bob in here. He's so we are here again. This is a new week, uh, and we are getting. I would actually love to get Sam. Uh, it's not Sam. Oh yeah, I would love to get Sam in here. Who am I kidding? Um, I'd love to get um, Bob in here and see if we can listen to what actually happened in the uh, meeting. And I assume there's quite a few people in the meeting at the moment because we've dropped a few numbers in here. So it's just absolutely brilliant. But let's see what this guy's on about. Getting closer to the community, like we said, Hyper One is a community driving system as well. It's a binary system, and That's community really is at the center of everything that we are doing. This is the corporate Zoom, Mr. Anwar, the head operation from. Asia Pacific side and Mr. Nick Tyron from Europe and Mr. Benjamin from Africa. They are all on board here today to speak with you and discuss about the company project and the roadmap as well. So we will also be discussing about the sustainability of the company. Stay with us, keep sharing. We started. I'd love to know the lady that's co-hosting this with him. Um, because I mean obviously she's dropped off the planet. As a quick reminder, there is the event coming very soon for Thailand, the Thailand event level seven and above members. And next week, Mr. Benjamin will be in Africa as well for the event in Nigeria. So stay tuned to have all the information. Keep following the official Telegram channel. Now I will pass it on to Mr. Anwar, please. Thank you, Florine. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Uh, well, Thank you. we have people here, but uh, I think we should wait for some few minutes. I'm getting texts that people are joining. So uh, we just wait for one to two more minutes and then we begin. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, crazy people. Are you doing is this? Um, is this the unflavored one? Uh, no, that's called naked. And I, yeah, we're actually normally 100% stocked. Yes. And it's just um, going out the door at the moment. So you're probably right. It's a bunch of cases of uh, piling, yeah. stocking up. I'm just going to grab a couple of bags and some other stuff, which I haven't noticed. But yeah, naked's the one that's got no flavor. Ask your ask your leaders, ask your subordinates, community members to join the Zoom because today's Zoom is very important. 
and we are going to discuss uh, various lucrative things today so we want maximum participation of the community so that we all are equally aware ask your subordinate you wait for one more minute ask your friends ask your community members leaders to join as soon as possible today's zoom is going to be very important yes we are seeing uh, numbers increasing great when he says subordinate that seems like we're talking to a cult leader you ask me Okay, I hope uh, let's uh, we we should start now. The yellow one. It's just probably the hundred. But I request more uh, the members who joined uh, keep asking other people because today's Zoom is going to be very important. And uh, as I told you all, we are going to discuss various important aspects of Hyper One and uh, the the things, the pillars which are backing Hyper One and what is making Hyper One very strong. So today's topic is very important nick is going to discuss various important things that are going to put stability in your mind and uh, that is going to make sure that you understand how sustainable hyper one community is going to be so i will start with my presentation Steve, Steve? Yeah, right. yeah, so if I bring it down here, yeah, I just can't. I hope you all are able to see my screen. I've changed batteries, I've done everything. Yeah. Yes, good. Yeah. Okay, okay, um, great. So, um, talking about uh, Hypertech Group, uh, people who are very new uh, to the community, to the Zoom session today, I will briefly, uh, briefly tell you all about the corporate structure of Hypertech Group. Hypertech Group is a mother company of Hyper One, and uh, Hypertech Group has many other uh, small and big tech projects going on. So, Nick will uh, tell you all in detail about Hypertech Group's and it's it's all features and it's all uh, uh, ventures other ventures apart from hyper one so i'll be taking you all to a small tour uh, telling you about the hyper one management and how we are planned corporate wise the hyper one management team has our ceo mr boris johnson he will so soon join us in the corporate zoom and he will be there in the thailand event so all the leaders who are qualified who have achieved already level seven they might have got my email also for the uh, document collection for visa to thailand so and i'm also getting uh, documents i'm also getting response on those emails so we'll all see each other in the thailand event and our ceo along with our ceo cto we all will be present in the thailand event so the company is hyper one group is hyper one team is managed by uh, our ceo and uh, operations is handled by our ceo or uh, coo is eva martin and all the heads 
have a separate uh, uh, KRA, that is Key Responsibility Areas. So I am the in charge of Asia Pacific region. So I look after uh, this Asian countries and same Nick is the Euro head and he looks after the European community. And we have uh, uh, Mr. Benjamin uh, looking after the African community. So everything, every part of the world is being covered slowly and gradually by hypo one so that the community grows very fast and in a very sustainable way so that the management has also uh, control over the community so that new and upcoming systems new and upcoming projects are very easy for the community to understand so that is why that is the reason why company is spending uh, a lot of money and energy on uh, uh, enhancing its management team and its corporate structure because see it is it is very important to have a good corporate structure so that the system runs for a long time and efficiently just like the vehicle just like the engine of the vehicle the company also requires a good corporate structure that works as uh, you know just like the different parts of engine the, the company also runs in the same way and this is the community building platform this is the community related uh, uh, company so it, it it actually needs a better and efficient engine so we are working uh, day and night to make sure that our management and corporate structure is so strong that we do not have any sort of uh, issues or uh, shortcomings so more corporate officials are coming up very soon we'll have uh, more corporate members addressing to the community reaching out to the community reaching out to the leaders to help them i am going to hire more people in asia pacific region because uh, see to understand the market in a better way i need to reach to a, to more and more people personally but I, I just have two hands i just have two legs and two eyes so i cannot be present everywhere in all the asian countries so i'll be making sure that i'll hire more people in asia pacific region so that the community grows very well and we have a sync a symbiotic relationship with our leaders so that they understand everything properly and they work accordingly and also uh, i have got so many requests from the uh, asian countries from basically from india that uh, you all need zooms in hindi so i will be taking care of that also so i will be responsible for taking zooms in hindi i will if, if I, uh, you know, have to, then I will hire more people I'll try to in the Asia Pacific of region so that the leaders don't face uh, such uh, issues and problems. So I'll briefly, uh, briefly tell you all about the responsibilities of the heads like me, uh, like uh, Mr. Nick, like Benji Mr. Benjamin. We all are responsible for communication with the leaders of different different countries so all the leaders who are out here they can contact me they can contact nick they can contact benjamin accordingly uh, as per their region so that they they get information they get exchange of knowledge they get exchange of any if, if they have any issues if they have any demands if they have any needs uh, that they are not able so what you're listening to here, guys, is I've gone to work for today, but I'm continuing to run this because we've just got so much information coming out at the moment. Is um, This is Shavas six months prior to his involvement in We Are All Satoshi. And Mr. Anwar, Shavas Anwar, um, is basically showing you, uh, and, and the outline of the company is it's obviously Hyper Tech Group. And this is where it all links back. So if you think that, Chavez isn't part of Hyper Tech Group. Uh, let's put this in perspective for you. Hyper um, Capital, Hyper Fund, Hyperverse, Hyper um, Nation, Hyper Cosmos, Diversal, and then you've got Stable Deo, you've got um, Vidi Look, one, two, three, four, five. You've got VAV, and then you've even, would you believe, I've heard that we we dot global 
and the blockchain era, which has just been rebranded to some other company. You'll find more information about that on Oz's website behind MOM. Has actually literally uh, all those Ponzi schemes are all together. And not only that, Crypto G and Susie Stealth have been tracking people's wallet addresses. And just now we're just um, looking at a transaction coming in. So $123,000 a move uh, to another wallet. And they're siphoning money off the platform. Pixel, I'm on the, I'm broadcasting, mate. Come on, what are you doing to me? Um, so all this here is not Chavez's company. And these these clowns, the dumber, the dumb and dumber person. Pixel, come here. Right. been a full-on day so what i'm getting at guys is these guys are all one company all the money that's right danny one... hey i said that's right danny yep and so they're all one company that all the we we have used the blockchain to help these people fall on their their um sword so when you when you watch things like this don't think oh it's Chavez's company what the hell Chavez comes out of nowhere grabs the keys to the Vault Horizon, moves all the money out of the Vault Horizon, my keys, my crypto, my ass, moves it to another Vault Horizon. For a month, I'm yelling out, why is no one asking where the money of the Vault Horizon is? Then he's meant to have a board of trustees of nine people. Uh, Shammy, not Shammy. <laughs> Gobi and Tammy are meant to be board of directors with Lucky, and they're made to make these decisions. They tell you they put all the money in the, the cash of bank, and you're going to get paid 3% dividends the bridge has been shut for over a month now, meaning no one's been able to get any money out of this platform. It's washed up scam. And then they release this new boomerang thing. And you've got idiots like Dumb and Dumber telling us that Sam Lee's got nothing to do with this. Well, you're probably right, actually, because it's all hyper tech group. And Sam, um, what we're playing this video for is to show you that this isn't the first rodeo for Chavez M. Yeah. War. He's done this before. And he's doing it right now in front of you. So if this video might seem outdated, it's because this is probably about 18 months ago when Chavez says that he has his own corporation that he started at the age of 17. He um, provides tech services to Marvel Studios. Um, he also um, works with government organizations. Everyone in the world is using AI that his company developed, but he can't tell you what that is because he hides behind um, NDA disclosures. And here he is in a meeting trying to scam people six months before all this shit started. This is gold. You can't get any better than this. As Richard would say, what would you say, Richard? <laughs> That's gold. Let's go. So listen to this. And this video, I have never watched this video before. So this is me doing my Intel in real life stream. So it's just beautiful. You just can't make this shit up. Go, go, Chavis. Speak, Chavi. Able to cater. To, to their community, then they can easily approach us and get their uh, requirables now uh, delivered. Now I need to take a dog out for so a week. One we are before. also uh, uh, having we are also having the responsibility to inform the community about the progress of the management. So we are doing uh, corporate zooms regularly. There will be more frequent corporate zooms in future, so that community will be growing accordingly and. Uh, it will be required that all the members of the community, even, even at the uh, people who are at the last stage, they also should know uh, what company is doing and what kind of products that we are going to launch, what kind of projects that we are working on, how fruitful can, uh, the projects uh, will be in their lives. So uh, let's move on to Hyper One Pay, and I'm very excited to announce that the beta version of the Hyper One Pay will be released in the Thailand event. So it's a very good news that uh, I have today uh, that I I just shared with you all. So I really can't wait to uh, see the uh, you know it, uh, the interface of Hyper One Pay, and uh, you know it is going to be very amazing product right. because see it is it is going to have a feature to hold your native funds and crypto funds. Uh, all together in a single wallet and there will be an option to swap it also there will be staking rewards there will be customized staking plans you can customize your own staking uh, plans and there will be trading options so <laughs> Hyper One Pay as a product is but, going to do tremendous okay. in fact uh, Dog, wait. if i if i uh, foresee this uh, product 
uh, it you. will be no, it will Thank not you. only be confined towards our community but other people uh, people outside our community will also use it this is going to be very amazing product oh. and we have had one uh, <laughs> my life today is open. hot hot is going to <laughs> be there. listed on more exchanges Thank in you. future oh and uh, you will be oh, hearing news in our official channels about the listings and it will be listed uh, in more exchanges so far it has grown 350% in the next in the, in the last 10 weeks and it is already available on multiple exchanges last uh, exchange which is it got listed uh, on is buy box and uh, it has a great trading volume already so not only the community but also you can you know get a lot of uh, wealth you can generate a lot of But, money by holding hyper one token so hyper one token is a part of hyper one community <laughs> and hyper one uh, all your income is in hyper one token i love like so in the future promises. if you just want to hold your income also you will be profitable so our tokens are also doing good just like hyper cash so nft marketplace is uh, in the testing stage it is being developed so very soon we will have a very nice platform where all the nfts can be sold can be brought can be traded so it will be just as same as other nft marketplaces like opensea oh, where crazy. you can come and sell buy or trade it's nfts terrible. so these products are going to uh, make sure the community is having is backed by tremendous amazing products amazing projects and so so this is the only reason why the community is going to be very sustainable so we have wrapped h cash launched which uh, showed a tremendous growth of 52% in just 24 hours so <laughs> oh my god uh, the bull that they tell people is to get you to believe that the platform is secure and safe it was launched in 2018 and uh, it is listed more on more than 10 exchanges you can see you can go to FTX. exchanges you can see uh, <laughs> it is listed everywhere it is being traded uh, in a very good volume so community is also uh, just hyper one just launched wrapped h cash so it will enable you to uh, you know transfer wealth more smoothly more efficiently now we have thailand event Uh, as you all know who leaders who are new uh, joined very new with us they don't they might not know but we are having a thailand event consensus event in which all the level 7 and above leaders are invited they will be sponsored by the community their travel stay everything will be sponsored in which there will be uh, a very amazing experience of learning uh, because all the leaders from different different locations all the experts of the crypto and blockchain space will be there so that event is going to be a good conglomeration of learned people and businessmen the people who are driving the community the leaders and the learned people from the blockchain community we might learn so something from watching this stuff this come on back these go. kind of uh, consensus events are going to be very great opportunity for our leaders and upcoming leaders who want to learn who want the latest to learn bangladesh in the process of visualizing making so i hope you all are very excited and you all are ready oh you got to be to excited when you get involved in crypto come to the thailand event can i see hands of people who are already uh, who are ready to join uh, the thailand event who have wow. already achieved it oh look three people great great response You need everyone to see everyone's hands because in What? in the next corporate zoom i want to see more hands <laughs> i bet no one put their hand up more progress because this event is going to Come change on, your please. life because see why because there will be people who who are actually working i will be there nick will be there our ceo entire corporate uh, mem- uh, team Rick will Lewis. be there so that you all will come you will all experience all right. everything uh, so personally so intimately that you will uh, learn many things and you you will be able to see uh, the i, I just announced you will be able to see the beta version of hyper one pay in the thailand event 
So, so here in total I'll briefly, uh, briefly tell you about uh, my goals and roadmap for the Asia Pacific region as I'm the in charge. So I will be traveling more uh, in the coming uh, two to three days. Yeah, I will be to traveling towards northeastern uh, states of India. Also, I will be traveling to uh, western states uh, like Gujarat, Surat uh, especially. And there I will meet many leaders and uh, I will make sure that all their needs, all their uh, questions are being answered. And I will personally uh, visit many other states in India. Then I'm going to Bangladesh very soon so that Bangladesh community also uh, gets a chance, uh, get a chance to learn more and understand the community building and leaders also, you know, they, they understand that uh, community is growing in other countries, but yeah, uh, Bridget, Bangladesh, small every time you post a like comment Nepal in the private area, I need to do they're very amazing small, but get the business volume is the already very great. And if it's so not important, I'm sitting there going, oh my we God. We are equally fo focusing <laughs> on uh, all the, so going into the countries, private be area. big or small. So I hope uh, I, can I will hear uh, anything. meet every I leader can't in Bangladesh. Your... And then I will make sure that I will also visit Nepal so that uh, the, the leaders don't feel that company is not uh, supporting and company is not being present. So I will make sure that I will visit every Asian Can everyone country else hear what's before, going on? Uh, what's he can't hear. So uh, I'll invite uh, Nick. Nick, uh, please put some light on the uh, entire system of Hypertech Group so that we understand clearly oh, as, group. as to Music how Hypertech Group works and how do we, you know, uh, deliver oh, such good technology dope. and how efficient we are? Nick, to you. Yeah, oh, people. Uh -huh. uh oh, the boss is here now. Thank you very much, Mr. Hanwell. Um, all right. Um, you guys. Um, Benjamin, uh, would you maybe like to? Um, just talk a little bit more about um, the stuff or uh, like the projects about Hyper One. And um, all right. Um, after your presentation, I'm going to continue. And yeah, it's I'm very excited. All right. Um, let me share my screen. Thank you. And Yeah, thanks, uh, Susie. Yeah, it's just you, Richard, and I can't tell you, you can't hear me. <laughs> but, good. Is it visible? Yes. So, um, we probably won't be able to talk much. Okay. I'll probably round. Well, I'll round thank you, everyone, up. for giving me this opportunity to speak. I'm very excited I'll round and nervous over my excitement of goes beyond my nervousness so i'm yet to go over the you know, four products that in the shavas just went over but you know just elaborate a bit further on Ching -ching. these key products so as you all know four of our most important products are Apple one token Apple one pay wrapped happy cash and nft marketplace now, happy one token. I I began investing some years back, and in my time, I've seen a lot of projects. I've seen a lot of tokens be li being listed, and it's very rare to see the amount of growth that happy one token has done. Uh, you see the top ten exchanges. You see the top ten tokens um, going down every day in this market situation, and happy one with with you guys and everyone in the community boosting it to be up, you know, 350% in 10 weeks. In my time investing, this is this is something that, you know, is very uncommon. Just like only a few tokens achieve such great numbers. And, you know, holding Hyper One will only do you good in the future. So, you know, 
I would advise everyone to go get more Happy One token. As you can see, the growth is never ending. And in the last 24 hours, I believe, from the last time I checked, it was up again by like 7%. So Happy One token is coming, is coming to more exchanges from the from the exchanges we already have. So we want to make sure that Happy One token is available to everyone. And you know, we can reach everyone in the community. So we're going to list with we're going on with more exchanges we're going to see you're going to see happy one token everywhere and making sure everyone in community can get access to happy one token happy one token is you know something that our dev team works on with care to make sure that it's you know free from any security breaches um free from any um flaws and you know we can see this by the growth that happy one has done in the past weeks um, next is Happy One Pay. So I am very excited for this personally. I usually use my wallets as uh, to store my cryptocurrency and stable coins. However, I haven't really found one that does what Happy One Pay is planning to do. We are delivering a product that supports multiple blockchain from Ethereum, from the Ethereum blockchain to the Bitcoin blockchain to Solana blockchain. This is something that you know is very very difficult and speaking to the dev team about this they're working very very um carefully making sure this is as secure and as good of his products um and ready for everyone to use again as anwar mentioned this is currently in the beta phase and we keep we're going to keep on testing it to make sure this product is ready for, for all of you we're going to support multiple currencies so if you're in nigeria you can use naira if you're in you know america you can use us dollars and anywhere in the world you can use your native currencies to you know purchase stable coins so again our dev team making sure that this is a secure and trusted platform we know that this product is going to be used by so many people and we don't want to release a product that isn't ready. So we're going to take, we're, going to, we're taking our time with this and making sure that everything, all the features we are planned is coming out in the best manner ever. What's your name? Again, if it's kept by Happy One One Pay, remember you can move your token as well. So you don't have to purchase new ones. You can move your already existing tokens to Happy One Pay. So when you push it out, you don't have to worry about buy a new token just to use hyper one pay you can go back to your already existing yeah, stable coins and then transfer all of this to hyper one pay this is a platform like never before i haven't seen anything quite like this and i'm very excited for everyone to see and use hyper one pay as well next is wrapped hyper cash so as we all know in the first 24 hours of happy cash being released back like three years back we did 50 percent in just one day this is unimaginable and so many people benefited from happy cash and so we the dev team are working on wrapped happy cash to give you the same and you know actually more than what happy cash could um offer it we provided making sure that happy cash can be used on several blockchains. Um, we're making sure the security is, is top notch. Again, we chose um, our layer one solution on DSG Quantum. And again, our dev team isn't holding anything back on making sure this is as secure and as trusted as possible. Again, Hyper One Cash was listed on top tier exchanges and you can expect the same from wrapped Hyper Cash. And all I can say is I'm very, very excited. And I hope all of you are as excited as I am to see wrapped hyper cash come to life next is nft marketplace this is something i personally hold very dear i once i bought my nf my first nfc back some a few years back and i bought one from my favorite basketball player he created an nfc and his, and you know he sold it and i decided to buy one myself after buying one in after 24 hours the price was up by 50 percent in the next 24 hours, it was up another um, 50%. And, you know, NFTs are never going to stop growing. In the past two years, NFTs have grown over 10,000%. This is unimaginable. And this 
space is for everyone to use. So again, from artworks to music, to collectibles, to digital world, NFT, I believe is, you know, it's already here, it is in the future, it's, it's right here. And we're excited to bring our own NFT marketplace, just like OpenSea, just like Solana Arts, just like the Binance NFT. However, we're trying to make the experience as seamless as possible, trying to make sure that it's the minting process is, you know, as easy for everyone in the Hyperon community to use, making sure that everyone possible can access the NFT marketplace, regardless of your location, regardless of what device you're using, regardless of, you know, what time you want to buy or sell your NFT. This is something our dev team is working on day and night. As you know, I go back to them and I ask them how it is. And they're very excited as I am, to, you know, to see this product come to all of you because we know that when it does come, that you'll be as excited as everyone to start using it, to start buying NFTs, to start selling NFTs. And you know, as well, you can also trade NFTs. So this is our these are the four products that we've looked at today. And to be honest, it gets me excited every time I talk about this. And I can't wait for all of you using the three unreleased products. Again, some of them are in the beta phase. So, which means very, very soon you'll be able to use this product. I hope to see all of you in the talent events. I'm very excited. You know, blockchain events like this are very, very useful for networking. I, I've gone to a few events myself. And again, the amount of networking and the amount of people in the same space that you can meet would only benefit you. So again, this event for levels our level seven leaders. It's not easy getting to level seven. It's not something you do overnight to keep on pushing, keep on, keep on grinding, keep on making sure that your community is being built properly. And when you reach level seven, we you can come on invest more events like this. So I hope to see all of you in the talent events. However, I'm also going to an event before that. And I'm going to you know, again a budget to um speak to all of you and hope to see all of you there as well to you know talk more about happy one and what we're doing and again excitement all around i can't wait to see all of you um thank you so much for your time thank you so much for giving me the opportunities to speak to all of you and i'm going to pass it on to nick to talk more about the pipeline and what we're doing thank you thank you very much mr benjamin for these amazing and interesting insights um now i'm gonna start and share my screen um, all right can everyone see my screen right now <clears throat> yes we see you sir. yes good good thank you all right, yeah, I'm very excited to give you these insights today about Hypertech, the big and interesting company behind Hyper One, because Hypertech is providing us all the, all the interesting and awesome products that we are using at Hyper One. So let's just dive into it. There we go. All right, uh, yeah, today we're gonna to talk about the, uh, the Hypertech Group in general, the pillars of the Hypertech Group, the collaborations with the governments and universities, our mining farms, websites and ecosystem, and last but not least about Sam Lee and who he is. All right, <clears throat> um, just gonna, A second, it's not working properly here right now. All right. So, <clears throat> the Hyper Tech Group is a comprehensive and diversified blockchain technology service group, and it relies on blockchain technologies and create an holistic digital supply chain through the integration of resources and favorable positions in connecting. Just let me stop here real quick. The Zoom is not working properly here right now. All right. Okay, now can we go? Yeah. Um, 
and through the integration of its resource and federal position in connecting both upstream and downstream players in the industry. And the group will promote the development and adoption of blockchain technology globally. And what are we known for at Hypertech? Hypertech I'm is these known for Maybe other people are as well. that paves the way of the future with guidance on digital currency investments, incubation, and investing in quality blockchain projects. And DeFi with blockchain technology as its core, and creating a decentralized financial service ecosystem. And as well as autonomous research into core technologies, accelerating the applications of blockchain in various industries. And the Hypertech Group as itself is registered with the ACIC the Australian Securities and Investment Commission, because, and as you can see here on the certificate, you got to love these documentation that they put up, like they mean every something. Time. That's why we're always providing proof of the links and the registrations and everything um, for everyone. <clears throat> so now what we need to do is figure out where the Hypertech Group offices Let's are. Let's talk more about the pillars of the Hypertech Group, which are Blockchain Global, Colin Star Capital, Hypercash, and Molecular Future. And let's start with Blockchain Global. Blockchain Global is also registered with the ACIC and it operates as a Bitcoin company. And the company itself offers Bitcoin mining, consulting, and incubation services. Um, as one example, uh, the Blockchain Global incubated a multi billion dollar blockchain project as well. Next up is Collinstar Capital. Collinstar is an asset management company with full set specializing in blockchain infrastructure, digital currency investment, and relevant consulting services. It also launched the Collinstar Lab at the Monash University. And the next very exciting thing is Hypercash. Hypercash is a decentralized and open source cross platform cryptocurrency designed to facilitate the exchange of information between blockchains and non-blockchain networks. But let's dive a little bit more deeper into this interesting product. And I prepared a video for all of you guys to get some more information about Hypercash and what it is about. So I'm now gonna start sharing the screen for the video. Let me just change it on the Zoom settings so that everyone can see it. <clears throat> All right, it's loading right now. I'm going to change the screen here. HCash is a distributed. Um, All right, hope everyone can see the video right now. Yes. And I'm going to start it. HCash yes, is a yes. distributed ledger cryptocurrency in both blockchain and blockless based directed acyclic graph systems. Here are seven reasons why HCash can be revolutionary cryptocurrency. One. based and blockless based distributed systems. Two, HCash is hidden. HCash will adopt zero knowledge proof technology to achieve by any other areas more demanding transactional this privacy. Is just gold this Three, this is just HCash the is hybrid. The, the consensus mechanism for HCash is POW plus POS <laughs> open governance hey, model. For that photo, HCash by the way. holders are able to participate in significant community wide decision making, including protocol updating and upgrading through a POS mining mechanism. Four, HCash is hierarchy DAO governance. Decentralized autonomous organization is the driving force behind future advancement and provides the HCash community with continual vitality. Five, HCash is hard. HCash takes quantum resistance into consideration from the very beginning of system design. Therefore, 
HCash still has a natural advantage over other systems at the system level, even after the rise of practical quantum computers. Six, HCash is haven. HCash holders can transfer between public and private addresses through their own wallets or client panel. The transaction or delivery across different systems can be requested for public address or private addressed coins. Seven, HCash is hash holders to transfer unlimited times with a limited block size. Overall, HCash is a revolutionary cryptocurrency and makes blockchain better. Learn more about HCash at h.cash and join this exciting journey. All right. <clears throat> Now I'm going to go back to my presentation. Just a second. All right, I think I'm back and everyone can see my presentation again. Yeah. Hypercash is a very interesting product, and I'm always very excited to see all the information about it and what's behind Hypercash. But let's move on. The next thing is Molecular Future. Molecular Future is an innovative financial investment service company registered in a one stop digital asset investment service platform. And it's also registered with the ACIC, the Australian Securities and Investment Commission. Next up are collaborations. Hypertech has many collaborations with governments and universities. Just as um, an example is a multi-million dollar deal uh, with the Monash University in collaboration with Hypercash and Collinstar, as well as with the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Good day, guys. Must be running Hypertech a bit of a shit show uh, today. We've only got five people. Yeah. Does anyone find out whether Southwest they talked China about Sam's announcement? The magnitude. Of and the, um, we are also Toshi Zoom. Let's talk today. about our mining farms. Let's talk 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 about our mining farms. And one of these four mining crypto company, uh, mining companies is BW, which has produced around 300,000 Bitcoin, 1.5 million Litecoin, and 2 million Ethereum, valued today at over $10 billion. It is estimated that 60% of the production Just of Bitcoin Just show you anyone can read a bloody PowerPoint presentation. Mining farms. And who's and this guy? Where's he just here to? Acquired the BW group, which I was just talking about, in 2017 for $100 million. Collinstar Capital itself created in 2015. And as always, everything is verifiable and documented online. So let's move on to the websites and the ecosystem of Hypertech. Hypertech is providing many and various products, such as Hyperpay, a digital wallet, Hyperfin, which is providing integrated digital finance services and HyperBC, a bank with the future of custodian banking. And there's HyperOTC, which is the leader in C2C digital currency payments. Let's move on to HyperNews, a decentralized news platform based on blockchain technology, and HPX, which provides safe and fast digital currency. HyperNews, I've never seen that one before. <laughs> what a screen. Mining, <clears throat> which is providing high speed, low power computing chips and mining machines. So hyper mining breaks down the barriers to entry for digital currency mining. And then we have hyper cash as we already learned. Them, if you uh, just tuned in, this is a, yeah. a video that was six a months prior to the anyone ever saw Jarvis online. And, and we're just hyper going through more, a presentation about hyper one. Which provides one click channels. Very surprised me that this has actually got covers and water in it, and, and also family insulation. And here they are promoting the hypertech group. Absolutely amazing. Now here, um, have a listed some of our websites for the hypertech group and the hypertech ecosystem, such as the hyperfund, hyper.tech, hyperfin, hyperbc. Very. So very much information I can you gain from all these websites, from all of our products, of our ecosystem. 
So let's move on to Sam Lee. Who is Sam Lee? I think I can I make a whole presentation about um, him uh, just alone. <clears throat> I need my gyro noise. Someone um, got the gyro noise. Ding, you can ding. describe him as um, <clears throat> as a visionary because he was the person as an that idiot? when crypto came to the world, as a woman he's always stand behind it and always wanted to improve the technology. Because they can maintain four mistresses it. and a wife at the same time. Back in 2013, the Bitcoin's reserve. He's also the CEO of the Bitcoin Group in Australia, CEO of Blockchain Global Limited for more than eight years, and the soon. founder of the Blockchain Center back in 2014 until now, more than eight years, also in Melbourne, Australia. So Sam is the founder of the, and, and the CEO of uh, the Blockchain Global Limited, a profitable technology company with offices in Melbourne, Hong Kong, Dalian, and Washington, so all around the world. The company's corporate accelerator program has made over a dozen investments in successful startups leveraging blockchain technology. And with blockchain technology poised to disintermediate middlemen on a global scale, Sam established the Distributed Group, a blockchain venture platform that connects corporates, investors, and entrepreneurs to a network of more than 100 DLT pioneers that apply knowledge to create value at all stages with the aim to ultimately reduce friction, fraud, and cost for any company in any industry that interfaces with technology. And as an industry leader, Sam founded the Blockchain Center, which is the world's first blockchain knowledge hub and distributed technology institutes. He's a frequent speaker, having delivered presentations as a subject matter expert at numerous, including the United Nations blockchain summits, DLT conferences, and governance institute forums, among others, and been interviewed on CNN, Money, CNBC, BBC, Sky News, and RT, and even more. So this is about Sam Lee, a, a visionary about crypto and all and all the blockchain technologies behind it. We can be so glad that he is the chairman of our group and stands behind us and providing and keep getting us new products and new insights about the blockchain and, and the crypto space at all. Documentation beats conversation every time. I, I already mentioned it many times in this presentation, but it's all about the verifiable information that we're providing you <clears throat> for the proof of the things we are going to say and providing to you as a community. So always keep in mind, documentation beats conversation every time. So I want to thank all of you for your time. And that's all look forward for the biggest wealth transfer in history. So this was a brief introduction into the company behind Hyper One, so that you can see all these products and all these technologies are behind Hyper One and giving us all the opportunity to build something like this. So thank you very much. And I'm gonna get back to Ms. Florine. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Nick. This was a wonderful presentation. Thank you all for being here today. We're gonna to leave you with this news. So something that it was new today is the beta version that will be launched during the Thailand event and also the presentation about Mr. Nick um, of Mr. Nick about Hyper One and Hyper Tech Group. So thank you all for being here and we'll see you all in the next Zoom. Stay tuned and always follow the official Telegram channel. All new information will be shared there. There are many more exciting news to come. So stay with us. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, Florian. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Oh, shit. What am I doing here? One guess. Who's that? Lisa. What a load of rubbish. Yep. No, it definitely is a load of rubbish. <laughs> It's just um, it's just a shocker, really. I don't know how they can start. This is Hypertech 1 and 2. Uh, I, well, they just keep going, I don't they? Get it's quite... words because it's all a load of... 
Say that again, Lace. I said, I get lost for words because it's just unbelievable that the nerve of people. People believe them. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no, they, they certainly do. So it's just... um. <laughs> really. All right, guys. Um, uh, it's a bit of a shit show this morning. Um, we've got some good stuff out there. I, I hadn't watched that video in its entirety, but I'm so glad that they went to town on um, talking about hypertech group because, as I've said, hypertech group. There's a there's a big criminal network above all this. Sam Lee, Chavez, they're all puppets, and it's just good to see them at work. And obviously, if you go back to the core roots of this company, hypertech group. You can see they've been trying and trying and trying to get traction to start off another hyperverse. So that's kind of proof in the pudding, really, isn't it? Of what's happening. All right, guys, I'm going to go. Um, thank you so much for the people that stood in the chat room. Um, it's been a, actually a fun morning. I'm just looking at some of the private chats in the chat room, and it's basically nothing I need to worry about. Um, any last words? Um, please um, do hit like um, if you want to hit thanks on any of the videos for our time that we spend researching this stuff would be much appreciated and also um obviously i always say share subscribe and get these videos out uh, to the masses and if you go through the uh chat room comments you'll notice there's a link to uh, um to crypto g's um video that fully exposes boomerang but i mean how much exposing do you need to do if you think you can invest with a guy that has no last name and think that's good to go then probably it doesn't matter if you watch all the rest of the stuff and the information we provide you. All right, guys, um, you're awesome. Thanks for your support. I'll see you tomorrow <coughs> or maybe tonight. Okay, catch you guys. Peace out. See you later. Bye. Boom.